Welcome to the Cardinal Sports Network's presentation of basketball at Trinity Valley Community College. We are coming to you live from historic Cardinal Gym, Leon Smith Court. For tonight, we wrap up the 2023 Butke Cerna Thanksgiving Classic as the Lady Cardinals rank number 13 take on the Three Rivers College Raiders rank number 11. Lady Cardinals are 5-2 coming into the contest and Three Rivers is 7-1 in the contest. Coming in tonight on a six-game winning streak. I'm Benny Rogers. I'm joined by Tim Howard. And Tim, as I bring you in here, this is your the second night of action. Now, you've been around here for all the games today. And I think you were very impressed with this Three Rivers team and their outing over uh, uh, Angelina, 69-49. to 49. Yeah, they played uh, four excellent quarters, four periods of basketball, complete game, and, and ended it running away with it. Uh, took care of business in a grand fashion. And, this should be a lot of fun tonight between two excellent programs. Lady Cardinals are coming in off a 95 to 86, a wide open win over Hill College in their opener. And it's the Lady Cardinal team, Tim, this, this, this challenge this year because they've only got seven healthy players at this point. Yeah, it's it's going to be a tough task for the Lady Cardinals as uh, Coach Precious Ivy was talking a little bit with us today. She's like, hey, you go with what you got, but boy, they've been decimated with injuries in the early going and uh, running with seven players tonight. Before we get into the game, let's talk a little bit about Kurt Butkin and Miranda Cern. A lot of folks that are new to new to the new to the community and new to the basketball here at Trinity Valley and don't know Kurt and Miranda. Kurt Butkin was the head coach of Trinity Valley Lady Cardinals from the 1994 through the 2000, 2000 season. He, went to, he was here seven seasons with the six straight national championship games, winning four of those contests, winning in 1994, 1996, 1997, and 1999. Miranda Cerna played for him on the 1996 Lady Cardinal team, then came back and was a graduate assistant coach for him on the 1999 National Championship team. So you can see why in 2013, when Elena Lovato started this class, she came to me and said, Benny, what can we name it? And it immediately came to both of us, and it had to be the Kurt Bucky, Kurt Miranda Cerna Thanksgiving Classic. Man, I'm telling you, that, that, that kind of sums up just how great they are. But lest you, you forget, you, you look to your left, there's one, two, three, four banners with... Uh, Kurt Butke's name at the helm leading Think the way. Think about that. Six straight <laughs> national, national championship games. My games. goodness. That, that is a, a domination. That'll never been, we'll never see that again. No, no. And uh, he, you know, it was equally loved at Oklahoma State uh, when the tragic accident happened there. No, and just, November 17, 2011. Never will forget him. He ran and left after practice going on the recruiting trip to Russellville, Arkansas. They died tragically in a plane crash. Yeah, much much too soon at the age of 50. And uh, of course, uh, you can't get to this time of the year without just seeing a huge outpouring of people who commemorate and remember the 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 spirit of excellence with which they did what they did. So, uh, just what a what a great way to pay tribute to them with with this classic here tonight. Should have a great ball game uh, as both teams are getting ready to take the floor. Lady Carter's going after a little bit of history, Tim, because if they win tonight, it will be win number 1,299 in school history in the 49 years. So they would be they would be set, set up a, the potential to win game 1,300 tomorrow against LSU Eunice at 2 o'clock. But think about this. In the entire history of the program, the, the program right now is, has 1,298 wins and 267 losses. My goodness, that's think, crazy. That think is. about that. That's crazy. And since the 1993-94 season, the Lady Carters are 921 and 20, uh, 20, uh, 97. Wow. That, that, that number can just jump right over here because it just seems hard to. We're about ready for the pregame ceremony, so we'll turn it over to this public address announcer and rejoin you on the other side. For the final game of the Bud Serta Thanksgiving Classic. Today's matchup is between Three Rivers College and Trinity Valley Community College. At this time, please stand. Gentlemen, remove your head covers as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem.
Thank you. You may be seated. And we'll have the starting lineups for both teams. Introducing the starting lineups for the Three River College Raiders. From Memphis, Tennessee, number four, Brittany Wells. From Louisville, Kentucky, number 11, Alexis Weaver. From Jacksonville, Arkansas, number 12, Dakaria Jackson. From Rockford, Illinois, number 20, Maya Davidson. And from Lowen Oak, Arkansas, number 33, Kaylee Thompson. The Three Rivers College Raiders are coached by Alex Wiggs and assisted by Caleb Livingston. And now it's time to meet the starting five for your TVCC Cardinals. From Riverside, California, number zero, Ty Roberts. Tyler's from the Congo, point two number one, again. Liddy Mwamba. Liddy Mwamba, the only returning from player from last year's national runner-up squad. He's hitting 16.8 points a game and 7.2 rebounds. Kennedy Davis is averaging 17.2 points a game. April Edwards is averaging 17 points a game. She's the team leader in three points with 13. And Madison Bush is averaging 14.7 points a game, Kim. So as you would imagine, with just seven players, the Lady Cardinals have six players averaging in double digits. Yeah, very very much pronounced. Even in the running out of the tunnel here as uh, Coach Ivy uh, gives us the fist bump, getting ready to go. But, yeah, it's... It's, uh, you know, all hands on deck. Here's the problem. You only play with five, as they say, five on five. But the problem is when the team's got 14 or 15 players to choose from, they can really run at, run at your stamina and wear you down. Mm -hmm. Wear you down. you, you got to be careful with, with foul trouble. you got to be careful with injuries. We've I mean, seen Lady Cardinals do that to teams before. Yeah. They've had deep benches. Last year we bragged about the Lady Cardinals had 14 players. Maybe yeah. we shouldn't have bragged so quickly. Oh, boy. This said, okay, let's go have this Injuries have decimated the Lady Cardinals this injuries year. Injuries have already. definitely done it. And uh, Kira Sanderlin, one of them, uh, just one of the one of the thoroughbreds that uh, is on crutches here as we start this tonight. And Lenny Mwamba's having a great season as her sophomore season. Like I said, she's the only player returning from last year's national runner-up squad. So Mwamba controls the Tim two. Howard to call the game for you, folks. Thank you, Benny Rogers. Davis over to Mwamba. And working right side is Edwards. Head down, driving, shooting, and short. Rebound is taken. Nice by. power move by April Davis. Yeah, absolutely. Edwards, I'm sorry. Long three on the way, not there. Wamba with the rebound. So a couple of opportunities for both teams here in the early going. Kennedy Davis with the drive now pass out. Shot on the way is money. Shot for Edwards is good. Nice follow up by Edwards off the drive. Betty Carters will come in and have one three in a row. Now they have improved to five and two in the early going. Here's shot over the top, not there. And nobody got to the rebound. It actually hit the floor and a foul coming here. Great, great, great hustle by Kaylee Thompson, though, to run down the rebound for the, for the River, Three Rivers Raiders. Foul's gonna be on Madison Bush, the freshman out of Leland, Mississippi. Three Rivers is ranked number 11, Lady Cardinals are ranked 13. Shot is short. Again, no one there. Lady Cardinals went to sleep on the boards. Yeah, that's uh, Maya Davidson. We saw that a lot last night from the sophomore from Rockford, Illinois. She had a nice game last night and uh, starting off early with a good bucket here for the Raiders. Madison and then the shot taken. Last touch by Three Rivers, it'll be Cardinal basketball. That's twice on the Lady Cardinals have gotten good looks, work to get good looks, and come up short on the shot. So it will be Madison Bush to inbound. Finds Wamba. Bush takes it now over in the corner to Edwards. Ten on the shot clock. Wamba. Thought about a three, now put your head down, driving ball is loose. Pretty good defense by the Raiders that time. Yeah, man. Precious Ivy going deep into her bench, <laughs> sending in two. There's a long three on the way, not there, rebound controlled by Mwamba. 
So here comes Kennedy Davis. She'll bring it up the floor. Passes off to Edwards. Baseline jumper not there, but the foul is called. So two free throws coming for April. Edwards, a real strong player from the wing position for the Lady Cardinals. Kennedy Johnson coming into the ball game, as will Brianna Baxter. Kind of an oddity. The Lady Cardinals have two players named Kennedy on the squad this year. Yeah, they uh, both are uh, playing pretty well here in the early going. First free throw is good for Edwards. Lady yeah. Cardinals shooting 65% from the free throw line on the season. So we'll look at the replay, what sent her to the free throw line. Goes two for two on that trip. She has all four Lady Cardinal points. Crossover gets all the way to the glass, but cannot finish. Edwards with the rebound. Now the push. Almost took Travis tap his head off on the go. He's uh, he's that still not, with us. That's not been pretty. <laughs> <laughs> he's checking over the uh, camera. I think he got a pretty good shot out of that deal. Maybe more more ways than one. All the way to the glass. Too easy. Yeah, too easy. You, you you got a good screen up top there, but you got to fight through that or help her and make the switch. Three Rivers will explore that all night in there with their quickness. Block underneath from number 20. That's Maya Davidson. Three good looks. Lady Cardinals have been rejected on tonight. Davidson will pull up from there, but not this time. Good. Whoa, we thought they were going to go for an extra step there, but uh, a foul before that might have enticed it. Precious Ivy agrees with you. So April will pick up her first foul. And, and if you're the Cardinals, you have to be careful. That's one thing about just having two players on the bench. You can't allow to pick up two fouls real quick in a contest. Yeah, and it, uh, you saw how quick uh, Coach Precious Ivy made that substitution. Man-to-man -man defense here by the Lady Cards. They work it down low and three seconds. You know, through it all, Tim, through thus far in the games that I've watched from the Lady Cardinals this season, they've had the short bench, yes, but they have not sacrificed the defensive pressure that they're applying to teams. Yeah, and, and last night, that was one way that they really uh, kind of uh, instilled their will into the Hill game. They, they got points off of turnovers. They kept battling and uh, are in one here tonight, 4-4 in the early going. Shot is wide by Mwamba. She is the leading scorer of the tournament uh, coming into today. Averaging 15.8 on the season. Drive, good dish underneath. Mamba with the step in. Still Three Rivers basketball. 10 on the shot clock. Three on the way. Oh, Delivers. Man, she knocks it down. Nice shot and finish from Jasmine Davis. 7-4 Raiders early on. I mentioned Wamba. She had 27 last night, leading score uh, in the tournament on day one. And they need that from her tonight as yeah, well. Yeah, they're going to depend on her. She goes up, a little soft kiss. Well, she got a lot of body on her, but no whistle. She also missed the putback. 7-4 Raiders on top here. 5.49 to go. First period of play. Lady Cardinals have got our 0 and 5 temp and point blank shots inside tonight thus far. And I think a little bit of that is uh, they they're having to really be aware of the presence of uh, looking for here Davidson. She's she's had a couple of big blocks early. Too easy again. Answering down low with Samari Taylor. On the push, kick out for three. Now going in the paint, over the top, off the glass, and good for Kennedy Davis. Yes, our first two points of the contest, two of the Lady Cardinals, six. Kick out for three on the skip pass. And a foul. Foul coming on Kennedy Johnson. That'll be her first foul. Pushes her arms wrapped around her. That's three team fouls now on the Lady Cardinals in the first quarter, Tim. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be one of those things all year long you just have to be really conscious of is not getting into foul trouble. Precious really have to be creative with her sub pattern. 
Yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be ever so difficult. Inside five minutes to go oh, first man, quarter. Oh, man, we're going to call tack like that. It's going to be a long night. Wow. That is... Of course, Lady Cards are known for their tight-knit pressure defense, and it's, usually they don't get called for those, but this, in a year like tonight, this year it's going to be magnified. Absolutely. So with a stoppage of play inside five minutes, we have our first media timeout. We'll step away. We come back with more after this. It's the Budke Cerna Classic, the Thanksgiving Classic, the final game of the tournament. We'll have it for you when we come back after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the Mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher-to-student ratio of 1 to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. Apply today at tbcc.edu. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. And back to the Budke Cern uh, Thanksgiving Classic here. It is day two. Boy, a couple of... Uh, Fantastic days of action. We look at the ranked teams in this tournament featured, and not only not to mention the featured defending national champion, Northwest Raiders. I'm telling you, man, and they they uh, look to be strong again this year. As the uh, you know, you you come to this this thing, you get a, a opportunity to iron sharpen iron. You get to scout and see what's uh, what's out there. And it, man, it's been it's been some good hoops over the last couple of days. And a year ago in this classic, you remember Northwest and the Lady Cardinals played a classic game. One of the Lady Cardinals men wound up playing in the national championship game, won in overtime by Northwest Florida back in March. Yeah, that was the that was the the craziness of it all. Drive on the baseline's up and good. Makes it 11-6. Kaylee Thompson with a nice baseline move. Foul going to be called here on number 12. That's uh, to carry out Jackson. But, yeah, you, you mentioned it. Last year, Cardinals handled business over Northwest Florida State and then would meet up again in the championship. And he goes overtime and Northwest wins, yeah. So, you know, it... At some point tonight, Benny, we got to talk about the fact that it'll be in Casper, Wyoming, the uh, the, the tournament this year. You don't, you don't want to get me editorializing about that because I'll get in trouble. I, I, you would not be the first to get in <laughs> trouble over that. A lot of movement there, but no result. 11-6, Cardinals come up empty there as uh, that ball will. That uh, possession arrow will be favoring uh, the Lady Raiders as it goes out of bounds off Trinity Valley. Chance for three rivers to build on this lead. Yeah. The Cardinals struggling to score thus far early on. Working around the top of the perimeter. Might have got a piece of that one. Definitely affected the shot. Rebound is taken by Baxter. Baxter out front to Johnson. Johnson pulls up two from inside the free throw line for Kennedy Johnson. That was a big bucket. It was, and Three Rivers might have got away with a foul on, on the uh, rebound on the offensive end that time. It looked sure pretty like Mia Mil Davidson was over the back. Oh Long three out top from Brittany Wells. Boy, that was that was nice from the sophomore from uh, Memphis, or the freshman, rather. Held ball, possession error goes to the Lady Raiders. Now Raiders coming out strong here in the opening period of play. But you see Three Rivers eight, Frequently, frequently using their bench here, running fresh legs at the Lady Cardinals. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be that all night long as uh, Coach Alex Riggs is working his bench, keeping fresh bodies on the floor. Three Rivers coming in, averaging 82.6 points a game. Wells from three doesn't get the shot, but an offensive rebound gives him another crack at it. Driving to the basket, swatted. No, gets it over the top and good. Nice job of attacking the goal. 16-8, opening quarter of play. Critical juncture for the Lady Cardinals. Yeah, got to gotta steady the ship here as it's Edwards' jump stop shot. Off the glass, it's good. April Edwards with her sixth point here of the ballgame. Oh, a little... Gimme foul. Ticky tack, as I call it. And there's been several here in this first quarter. Foul. 
one and one. It'll be Davidson going to the strike. It's a fourth team foul against the uh, Lady Cardinals, so Three Rivers is in the double bonus the rest of the way. This is a shooting foul, of course. It's going to send Mad Davidson to the free throw line. Three Rivers comes in hitting 70.3% from the uh, free throw line. So Davidson goes one of two on that trip. Rebound by April Edwards. She'll bring it up the floor. 2.45 to go. First period of play. Crossover down low. They get it inside. Shot on the way up and does not get it to fall, but Baxter is going to the free throw line. Nice job with April Edwards with the inland pass, Tim. Yeah, that, that was an entry point. That, that's tough to defend if you're three rivers. They get it on the low block like that. Of course, Brianna Baxter is a transfer student in here from Kearns, Texas. Sophomore out of Kearns, Texas. Just down the road. Got to have these free throws. You know, when you're playing with seven, everything is uh, it's magnified. magnified. It's magnified. Perfect word because free throws, fouls, even an injury, those things all, they all play into it. Good play from Wamba. Got a tip and then shot on the way. Injured player underneath. Well, Baxter's yeah. going to get a chance to get for two more free throws. Yeah. Missed a couple there. The tap back by Wamba that uh, kept kept the play alive and then found Baxter cutting to the basket. But Lydia uh, has been just a different player this year, Tim. Last year she knew she was in a supporting role with the sophomore laden roster that the Lady Cardinals had. This year she's really stepped out and taken control of this team and made it her, her team, so to speak. Mm, yeah, and so we'll see how this thing shakes out over the next few weeks as it's uh, big free throws here for the sophomore Re Baxter Brianna it's the first one to go it's her first point of the game Eddie Carter's hanging around doesn't get the shot but the offensive rebound goes the Cardinals way Mwamba for three Mwamba for three rolls the rim and brings it home and that will be a big bucket needless to say brings you within one possession score now of the Right, Lady Riders. 2.10 to go, first period of play. Over the top, not there, but the offensive rebound is and missed the gimme. Well, they're getting outplayed in the paint. Ooh, Final contact down low. Cleared by Baxter. Out front to Kennedy. Kennedy, kick ball, no call. Yeah, tried to go behind her back with the pass, the, the dribble, and that was just not the right call at that time. Three-point deficit for the Lady Cardinals. Th the shot inside the three-point arc. That will be last touched by the Cardinals. Into the ball game. Tyler Roberts. Tyler checking in. 5'9", freshman out of Riverside, California, averaging 12.2 points a game. Madison Bush will uh, sit. Oh, too easy down low. And they got to be really careful inside. That ball on the floor, good hustle by Three Rivers. They control it now. Davidson for three. Can't get it to fall. Rebound by Edwards. Edwards coming up the floor. Tried to force it inside. Knocked away, gets a piece of it. And then it's Roberts with the steal. Wamba out top to Johnson. Great hustle by Edwards to say they kept that position alive. Three-point ball game here with a minute nine to go. Driving strong to the glass. Doesn't finish, though. That's, that's seven a, now. The Lady Cardinals are missing point blank range man, in the first quarter. That's 14 points, man. You've <laughs> you got to have half of those. you got a different bargain. Even Tim Howard can add that up. <laughs> I was wondering how long it'd be before <laughs> the bar, the uh, gloves were off. <laughs> Inside a minute to go. The over-under was three quarters. <laughs> Good drive. That's a charge. And a charge coming yeah. here. Standing in and taking the hit is uh, Brianna Baxter. So great, great job by the 5'11 the, uh, sophomore Baxter. Good call by the officials as well. So Cardinals have a chance to tie it up here or a tie it with a three, pull within one with a, a regular basket. 
Lady Cardinals battle. I guarantee you, they're not they're not they're not feeling sorry for themselves as far as having a, a shallow lineup. That's for sure. That's not in their DNA. I mean, they are uh, they're gonna they're gonna give you everything they got. Nice splash to the basket. Foul down low, and it will be Baxter back to the free throw yeah, line. Yeah, it was a nice flash for Baxter, but Kennedy Johnson did a great job of spotting and making that, that inlet pass there. Yeah, that's for sure. Kennedy with a pinpoint accuracy there on that pass. Brianna's so, got to hit the free throws, though. We've seen her struggle thus far in this contest. She's one of four thus far. Got to have those as uh, she steps up here with 27 seconds left to go in the first. Pops the bottom of the net there. One more to go here on this trip. Here's the thing about it, Tim. I know Lady Cardinals have, have uh, lineup issues as far as roster issues, but the teams they're playing don't care about that. They obviously have the Trinity Valley on the jersey. I was going to say, they still got that big old target on their back. It doesn't matter. They're, that won't show up in the box score. And uh, they just... Oh, good play there by Baxter to get a piece of it. Cards trying to take the lead, and they will. It is Kennedy Johnson on the push and the finish. Two on the clock. Watch her out, and it will roll off the cylinder. So 18-17 at the end of the first. The uh, Lady Cardinals come back and take the lead. What a, what a quarter by the Lady Cardinals. I'm telling you, they battled back. Let's step away. We come back with... Uh, a uh, second quarter right after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. At First State Bank, we like to say we're big enough to help, small enough to care. Our communities and the families and businesses within them are what have mattered most to us for decades. Since 1935, our commitment has been to not only support local, but to foster growth for generations to come. We've given back to organizations that help our community thrive. And with six convenient locations, we continue to do our part in serving you, our communities, our businesses, our families. Getting back to action here at the start of the second with the Cardinals leading at 18-17. That was a strong finish by Coach Precious Ivy and her squad. Well, it was. They battled gamely. They, they with the South the lineup issues that they've got, Tim. But think about it is they're up 18-17, and they were 0-7 at one point from point blank range on layups and shots from off the putbacks. Yeah, that, that is uh, definitely a, a noted point in this ball game because they're going to they're gonna need, you know, Every, you just get the vibe. You need all of it here. At one point, the Lady Cards were down 11 6. So we look at that comeback that they made since then. Yeah, 12, they 12 6. They outscored uh, Three Rivers. Yeah, down 11 6 to go up 18 17. So that 12 6 run by Trinity Valley to close out the quarter puts them in a good position as they got the ball to start the second. And they won a, one of six for free throw, two of six for free throw, three, pole, three throws in the quarter. So we'll see how they attack here. Foul out top on Roberts. <laughs> Precious got her explanation you may or may not heard, but she didn't buy it. Her face says she did not buy it. Exactly. <laughs> She's like, I heard what you said, but I don't think I heard what you said. Here's a drive. Kisses it up, but leaves it short. Picked up by Roberts on the push. Tyler driving. Shifting, hanging, shooting, does not get the roll. Man. Pulled down by the likes of Jackson. Got to convert on those. To carry out. Finding a spinning drive to the bucket from Weaver. And she'll go to the free throw line. That's going to go against Liddy. That would be her first personal foul. Yeah, Liddy Mwamba is uh, picked up the foul here. So as we look across at... Well, there, do they call that on Roberts, her second? They did. So oh Tyla God. has two. Uh, Wamba still no fouls. 
You have a foul on Kennedy Davis. Typically, now you probably lost Tyler Roberts for the remainder of the first half because you want to save 3,000 for the second half if you can get away with it. And a seven-person seven person bench limits to what you can get away with, Tim. Yeah, it's going to dictate differently, isn't it? I mean, that's kind of the how she's got to really, you know, normally those rotations and whatnot, you really have to do a double take. Is now the time? Whatnot. So it's going to be a, a whole other level of strategy as the second one is good. So now 19-18, the Raiders back in front. Up the floor, here comes Johnson. Kennedy works it across to Edwards. Edwards all the way to the glass. Oh, it's a nice power move, but again, the Lady Cardinals don't convert on the layup. I was wondering if she was going to attack the glass. It looked like she was trying to, you know, drop it through the net. I don't know if she was preparing to go back to the middle of the lane. That's the only, only move that you've got, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> and just think, I, I was talking about how much I missed you and knew it. <laughs> all the way into the second. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's well, a Mark's good look a at guy, it. Isn't he? <laughs> he, Mark's looked better and better. No, we, we've had a lot of fun between me, you, and him over the last uh, couple of days. There's just Mark is a good guy and did a great, has done a great job with the tournament for the Cardinal Sports Network. Oh, here's a put back. That's the right place, right time. Baxter. Gets a hold of that, makes it five for her, but more importantly, cards back in front. Time to continue the battle. There's a rebound from Lydia. Wamba gets it over to Davis. Kennedy Davis on the at the top of the key. Now they'll direct it over to April. April. Good jive step. Kick out on the way for three. Not there. Good defense there. Did not buy two or three fakes. Shot on the way. Gets the roll. Count the basket for Jasmine Davis. Got a good, real good look for that one. Looks like uh, Johnson finding Brianna. Up and left it short. Rolls off the rim. Those have been daggers to the Lady Cards thus far. Good take down low. Knocked away, picked up by Brianna. She gets it to Davis. Oh my goodness, there's a hard <laughs> foul down low. And well, boy, she, she really had no intentions of making that bucket, but she was trying to draw the foul. That's a mission accomplished. Yeah, and I'm, I'm looking at the body language. Well, these guys are gonna be tested over the next few months as Brianna uh, just, you know, Getting a, getting a well-deserved breather here up and down the floor. And it's going to be some tough sledding over the next few weeks. Davis to shoot two. Wow, making some, some free throws are just going to kill him. And one of the things when you think about, you know, it, it's so far reaching because if you're playing longer minutes, the legs get tired and free throws get tougher and, and nobody's going to make an excuse, but that is the reality. All of it's going to come into play. So... That one is good. One of two on that. Ties it up 21 apiece. She now has three in the game. Averaging 17.2 on the season. Good close out. Oh, got her in the air, though, and that led to this. Underneath bucket for Davis. Good job of ball movement by the uh, Lady Raiders. Weaver gets the bucket. Davis the assist. Two-point lead for the Raiders of three rivers. Working around the cylinder. It's going to be Edwards. Edwards kick out on the left side. Turn the ball over. You can't afford to do that. You're playing a tight contest when you're going to be challenged by, the, by your roster. So 7-12 to go. First half of play. Turnover on Trinity Valley. On April Edwards is averaging 17 points a game. She's got 13 three-pointers. We saw her hit four of those in the season opener against Western Gulf. Yeah, they, they're going to be looking for more of that at the seven-minute mark here in the second. Back down low, Bush defending. Goes straight up and down. Over the top is the basket from the Carriott Jackson. Madison Bush did everything she could to defend her. Four-point lead for the Raiders. Step back. The three on the way, not there. Here come the Raiders on the other, coming the other direction. Can't reach. 
You want to be real careful with your lady Carters. You want to get into the track meet with the uh, lady Raiders. And Precious sees that and calls a timeout. Yeah, they're going to talk about it and uh, try and also get a, a chance to reestablish themselves for six and a half to go. It's a 30 second timeout. So we'll keep it here, Benny. Uh, you know, what? what is the answer? We've talked about some of the challenges that they're facing. What are What are some of the solutions? Well, it's, Number one, you got to hit start hitting your shots. If you're getting those point blank shots, your layups and those putbacks, which they're about, to my count, two of nine of right now, and that's not a good percentage from from that range. Lady Cardinals are not one of these teams that are built this year to live from the outside perimeter. They're, they're just not. Not to mention the fact that they, with, with the vacancy of, of big post players, they're, they're going to lose the rebound in battle there too. So the key is to keep, continue to attack the goal, play pressure defense, continue to attack the goal, but convert when you attack the goal. Yeah, and, and uh, obviously the uh, free throw game has got to got to come in line there as well, as you uh, mentioned. So all of those things uh, come into play. Things they've gotten away with in the past when they've had the deeper benches and the more talented benches, but this year you're, that's not such the case. As, as, as you see it, folks, that's it. That's that's the Lady Cardinal roster this year. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's not a good sign when you see the crutches, the crutches. on the bench <laughs> taking like up three slots. Uh, it, it, it really does. But, uh, you know, if, if anybody can overcome it, it's this uh, Cardinal group. They well, are... can, and Precious Ivy does has done a great job, Tim. She's in her fifth year at the college. She's going into tonight's contest. She's 105 and 15. Wow. 105 and 15. <laughs> that's a, that says a mouthful in less than a sentence, so uh, goodness gracious. Six-point deficit for the Lady Cards here as they uh, bring it over the timeline. It's going to be Edwards working to Mwamba. Mwamba on the drive. Got a lot of contact there. No no foul. Just another opportunity wasted. Cutting her off on the drive. Shot on the way. Won't go. Tap back. It's controlled by Johnson. Kennedy wanting to push. Splitting the defender. Going inside. Pulls up. Shot is good. Kennedy Johnson. Kennedy now with six points in the contest. She and April Edwards are the team leaders with six each. Back to a four-point lead for the Raiders as three rivers trying to keep the pressure on Trinity Valley extra step there stopped by the Lady Cardinal defense is going to be followed by a conversion now by the offense yeah Kiara Neal takes the step so you got to take advantage of that as uh, Trinity Valley will get Wamba out so on the floor in white, it's going to be Edwards Davis. Goodness, I, I bit off more than I can chew now. Bush <laughs> and Baxter as uh, they're all over the place as well as Johnson. That's your five. The good news, I'll eventually learn them pretty quick. On three on the way, just short. Rims out and Three Rivers wants to run. Spin oh, on nice the three. Spin move. Oh, my goodness. Nicely done from Sydney Marshall as uh, they forced her hand, cut her off, and she had but one move. There's a foul coming here on Amaya Johnson. I know we pointed it out just a few minutes ago, Tim, but you can see the Lady Cardinals uh, plan of attack is to attack the goal. I and mean, every every person is on every drive is attacking the goal. Yeah, that's that's uh, kind of the mantra right now. But the turnaround is if you do that, you got to be prepared to hit your free throws. Got to get those down. And uh, 65 percent from the free throw line is not a very good percentage. They've got to improve on that. So as the uh, Lady Carnes step to the free throw line. It'll be Kennedy Johnson. Five up freshman out of Dallas, Texas. Gets the first of two. Now the team leading in scoring with seven points. Yeah, Kennedy was seven on the night, so looking for a big performance from her. Looks like Princess Davis, a former Lady Cardinal assistant coach. That's up and good. Two for two that time down. Four point ball game here. Cards on the trap. They'll get it over the top. Work in the baseline, and the shot is short. It's a rebound. Oh, now a little foul. That's going to be her second of the contest. I'm talking about Baxter, who's going to be whistled. That is on Brianna, for sure. That's her second. Now Precious has got two players. It's two thousands, really 
not a lot of options to, on the bench. Yeah, it's going to be one of those tough decisions here as uh, a bush will check in. So Madison coming on following the uh, next stoppage of play here. Second free throw, no good. Cleared out by Brianna Baxter. You really hate to pull Brianna from the floor as well because she's one of the top rebounders for the Lady Cardinals. Yeah, they're, they're going to miss her presence down low. Johnson, as the Lady Cards are facing the man-to-man, -man, thought about a three, pulls down, drives, gets rid of it, shot on the way, won't go, picked up by Davis. Kennedy Davis pulls it out. Brianna's going to be careful setting those picks out on the top. Drive, shot, won't go. Wamba with a putback, won't go. Even the Wamba was just three points thus far, Tim, on a three-pointer, and she's averaging 15.8. Lady Cardinals really need to get her to get into the offensive flow. Yeah, it, that's a good point here with a five-point deficit. Uh, now they will sit Baxter and into the ball game for her is going to be Madison Bush. So a five-point lead for three rivers with the ball. Hands straight up by Bush. Three on the way. Won't go. Rebound by Three Rivers. That was good hustle from Camille Brown. Brittany Wells trying to get inside. Will stop short. Pass off. That's another thing, ladies. The Lady Colonels have to do when, you, when you're so shallow on the bench. You got to be really, really careful, even when you just got one foul on the floor, because you know your coach is limited with two players already on the bench with two fouls. Yeah, you look up there on the. Uh, the shot panel. That's the second foul now for Madison Bush. So she's got to. Um, going to get on, real dicey. Brianna's <laughs> got to. to yeah, it's going to be a. Going to be a. It's going to be a chess match here. You got to get the. Well, precious, precious will earn her money. <laughs> I'm telling you, goodness gracious. Free throw is good for. Caria Jackson. There's just a huge difference. I know it's just one player, but there's just a huge difference between eight and seven players at your disposal. Yeah, it, it may not it, seem like it is, but it really is. It's huge. It really is. Wombo with the rebound. So Trinity Valley bringing it back up the floor. Lady Cardinal Bench calling for the switch, saying, look for it. They're going to switch. Wamba up top, tries to pass down low. It's telegraphed and stolen away. Here comes Camille Brown. Pass off underneath. Travel is called, and that will be on Kaylee Thompson. Yeah, Lady Carter did a great job of forcing the turnover there, double teaming down low on Thompson. Three oh eight left here in the first half. Thirty one. A good look here. 25. Let's get the score. Yeah, need a, need a good look. They're going to oh, throw it away. Throw it away. You can't afford that. Tough, tough uh, turnover there. Looked like watch she was trying a couple times down to see what Three Rivers is doing to take Liddy out of the contest offensively for the Lady Cardinals. Yeah, because she uh, definitely started quick. Three points, but they've been able to keep her pretty quiet since the opening moments of this game. She's got very few shots, as a matter of fact. Two free throws coming here, a foul. That's going to be the third foul of the game here on Madison Bush. So Roberts back in. And Roberts has two. Yeah, she's going to have to. This is, this is where you've got to really change your style uh, defensively you got to be straight up and down you can't I don't lean. know I know I don't know if that's in the card lady Cardinals DNA uh -huh. to change the uh, defensive yeah flow. and I, I'm not saying uh, as a team but I am saying oh, I, uh, stylistically I, 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 individually yeah you've okay. got to really be straight up and down like because any kind of reach you're jeopardizing your your uh, not only yourself but the team when you got seven shot on the way it's good Three so. Rivers come in averaging 82.6 points a game, Tim, and the Lady Cardinals came in averaging 77.3, so very comparable there in their scoring scoring games. Yeah, as the uh, leads ballooned up to an eight-point lead here. 
Three Rivers' only loss was to Wabash Valley, 82 to 65. They've won six straight since then. Wabash uh, ranked high, and there's a drive. One to three point opportunity. Uh, looking, looking back, almost through the ire of the official. A April Edwards with eight. Precious, that's the same call as the head down here. Yep. And an easy bucket under two, yeah, two easy. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Raiders up by eight. Need another good look. Edwards with a crossover in the paint. A lot of contact. No foul. My goodness. That's horrible. <laughs> I'll just say it. I mean, you every little tic-tac on the other side, that'll roll in. Yeah, that, that, is, that is not good. So 35, 37, 27. Just like that, it's a 10-point deficit for Lady Crumbs is tearing up at. You're seeing Davis over on the right side set a screen up top for Edwards. A lot of dribbling. Pass off, drive left hand, no good, but two guys there to rebound and not going to get it done. How about the effort from Tyler Roberts? Yeah, Tyler Roberts, give her an A-plus for effort there. Uh, you, these guys are calling motion here with a minute five to go. you got to come away with points on this position for the Lady Cardinals. He's struggling right now. Drive, there was a lot of contact out front. The whistle comes late in the play. You gotta hit the free throws now. You gotta earn them at the stripe. Three fresh bodies coming on for three rivers. Kennedy Johnson goes to the free throw line as the leading scorer along with April Edwards, the eight points each for the Lady Cardinals. So inside a minute to go here, Trinity Valley gotta find a, another gear to finish this half out here, starting at the line with Kennedy Johnson. You want something positive to happen for you in this final closing minute. That is the first of two. Nine points now for Kennedy. Two for two that trip. Double did the score at 10 now. Nice give off for the bucket. Yeah, that's a nice, nice vision there. Court awareness finding Kaylee Thompson flash into the basket. Kick out for three. And that'll be a three. I thought that was going to fall. A chance for a four-point play would have been nice. She will have three free throws coming here as Kennedy Johnson will step to the free throw line here. Best way to make up some deficits is with the clock stopped. But you got to hit the free throws. Jackson checking into the game for... Number 21, Camille Brown. Can make it a seven point ball game if she can hit all three of these. I like how she took a little extra time there just to gather herself. A lot of time, you know, they're up and down this floor here. A lot of, lot of fatigue happening. Slow things down. Slow it down, take a couple extra dribbles and really step into it. Use those legs and she does. It's the first one. Two for two. So she's hit four in a row. With yeah, she's got 12 points in the contest. Had a good first half. Kennedy leading scorer in the ball game. She's actually hit seven free throws in a row. Make it eight. Why not? They are counting on number 24, Kennedy Johnson there. She's pulled the Lady Cards within seven. That's why you make the, the tech, the bucket, pay off if you can hit your free throws like that. Indeed. Get a stop right here and get a bucket and then be a totally different outlook going into a halftime locker room. Shot on the way. Too hard. Rebound cleared by and play, play for one shot here. Roberts. They've got a good look at it here with 10. Baxter, or excuse me, Edwards going baseline. Jump stop shot. Buckets. It's down to a five-point game, and that is how the first half ends. That was a huge closeout. They were down 10 and cut it in half in about 30 seconds.
we, well, we said they had to have something positive happen in the final minute, and they did, so now they're going to halftime with a lot of confidence and coming into the second half. Great uh, close out there for the uh, Lady Cardinals. It's 39-34 as we go to halftime. We'll step away, come back with more after this. It is the Budkey Cerna Classic, and uh, the Lady Cardinals and the Raiders going at it right here on the Cardinal Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. You know, here at First State Bank, we're not just about opening accounts or getting loans. We're about community. Whether that's sponsoring local events, donating to nonprofits, or volunteering hundreds of hours, it comes down to the fact that we're local money working for you, local people. For over 80 years, we've been helping Texans build their homes, their businesses, and their dreams. With seven convenient locations, there's always a branch around the corner. So come say hi and get to know us. First State Bank, where community matters. You know, they're not talking about you, just you all the time, like they do rodeo athletes, you know. It's the right family, you know, the right brothers. I don't really look at it as you know, we're legendary, but it's kind of unreal. What we do and what we get to do, you know, the things we've done and hopefully continue to do, I guess you could say is it is legendary. <laughs> I was a runner. I was up to running three miles a day every morning. When I was diagnosed with lung cancer, I was shocked because I'm not a smoker. Baylor, Scott and White, the facility, the staff, everyone has been so amazing. I love, love the fact that I can breathe. When I first heard that I had cancer, I was referred to Baylor Scott and White immediately. It was really important for me to be able to get my chemotherapy and everything here because I wanted to be close to my friends, my family. They were so confident and made me feel at ease and supported me. I felt like I was their only patient and I knew they had several people that they were dealing with, but I was the most important person. I had like a week of headaches. Throughout that week, I went to my local hospital. They referred me to Baylor Scott and White. They gave me an MRI. The tumor that was inside of my head was cancer. Baylor Scott & White has given me this new technology that helps decrease the growth rate of my cancer cells. The doctor I have right now, he's just amazing. It's a great feeling to know the guy who's taking care of me actually really cares about me. Baylor Scott & White Health, changing cancer care for life. And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich, you'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. I wish I could tell you this life is easy that you'll never know defeat. And every run you make will be perfect. But there's a difference between wanting something and making it happen. Passion, practice, these are the keys to success. If you want to lead this life, There's nothing quite like coming together over a fresh cooked meal. Face to face, burger to burger, solving the world's problems over fries. There's also nothing like solving the problems right in front of you, like baseball practice, swim team, and getting your family's meals just like they like it, all with a few taps on your phone. Yeah, good thing there's more than one way to solve the world's problems. Good thing there's Whataburger. Prosperity Bank offers free checking. Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. 
Unlimited withdrawals? Check. Free online banking? Check. Easy access and friendly service? Check. Close to home? Check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Cowboy Headquarters is your one-stop shop destination in Athens. 80,000 square feet of awesome sitting on 25 acres with top brands for all your farm and ranch needs, including Prefect, Tartar, Steel, SMA, Blue Bonnet, Equibrand, Trent Ward Saddlery, Professional's Choice. We have a Texas-sized store with a Texas-sized selection. Cowboy Headquarters just south of the loop on Highway 19 in Athens. Cowboy Headquarters is a destination you don't want to miss. Shop online now at CowboyHQ.com. From a work perspective, what am I most thankful for? I'm thankful for working with a great team. I'm thankful for working for a company that's faith-based, and I'm truly thankful to be able to take time to pray with my patients if they need it. Having a good team to work with and a great, all, all my supplies are there. I got equipment if I need it, and it help at a phone call away if I need that as well. I've never had a time where I didn't feel like that. I couldn't get what I needed to do my job. We work together as a team here at Baylor, and I really appreciate that. Well, I'm thankful that I have the ability to work, the physical ability, the mental ability. I think every day that I walk into the pharmacy, everybody greets me as soon as I walk in the door. And it's a small gesture, but it goes a long way, and it starts your day off right. I do feel like I'm fulfilling my calling, even if it's you know, the last job that I have. I'm thankful for God leading me here to work. I feel like I am growing into a much better nurse, and I've been a nurse for a long time. When I go home at the end of each shift, whether I had a bad day or a good day, I'm ready to come back to work the next morning. And I know a lot of nurses, unfortunately, don't get to feel that way about their job, but this is how we feel here, and it's not just me, it's everybody around me. My team, they welcome me and respect me, my differences, my culture and I don't feel isolated when I'm with them. They welcome my ideas, so, you know, they're always there for me. We see people, a lot of brokenness, you know, physical, emotional, come through rehab, um, but just, walk, just walking beside them in this and being able to help them get better, to see the outcomes of it is just, it's really rewarding. I mean, I'm so grateful for Baylor, really. I love it here. Baylor's a very good place to work for, it's different. I've worked at other larger hospitals and I would never go anywhere else. Schlotzky's new Supreme, four cheese white and meaty pizzas come covered in the finest toppings. But under those delicious toppings lies a made from scratch crust so good, you could go toppingless. <laughs> Buy one pizza, get one free every Wednesday. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer, from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. We want to know which Chicken Express side dish you got to have with your hand-breaded Golden Crispy Express tenders. Got to have a big helping of those golden fries. My favorite side is the fried okra. Mine's the mashed potatoes. Fried okra. Mashed potatoes. It's all about the hush puppies. You can't go wrong with any of our delicious sides at Chicken Express. They're fresh, hot, and waiting for you after the game or anytime. We'll see you at Chicken Express. Fried okra mashed potatoes.
And welcome back. It's halftime here, about to start the fourth quarter. I'm Tim Howard along with Benny Rogers. Uh, your thoughts here. What about the closeout, man? Wasn't that great? Well, Tim, here's the thing about it. The Lady Conference League, we've established they're trying to attack the goal. That's their offensive attack, which, A, you've got to convert those. B, you're going to get fouls and go to the free throw line. And C, it puts your guards in jeopardy with foul situation. And the Lady Conference League, seven players. And they've got one with three at, on the bench right now and another with two. So they've got to be very careful. They need to shoot the ball extremely well in the second half, and they've definitely got to defend. But the, their aggressiveness is going to have to be kept in check because of the foul situation. You get a chance to see some of those first-half highlights. Kennedy Johnson, she she uh, was really pretty spectacular down the stretch. She had, thir she had uh, 13 points in the first half, and the last eight of those in succession were uh, free throws. So great uh, effort from her and, and the Lady Cards. Down 39-34, they were down, they were sharing a 39-29 deficit with 58.8 seconds left and rallied with five straight unanswered points to go into the halftime locker room with a bunch of confidence. So starting it out here in the second half for the Cards, it is going to be Roberts, Wamba, Davis, uh, along with Edwards and Baxter for Trinity Valley. And Roberts has two fouls, number zero for the Lady Cards has two fouls in the first half. So the Three Rivers Raiders inbound. Madison and Bush is on the bench with three fouls in the first half. So we'll keep an eye on that. Skip pass over in the corner. Now she spins. Shot on the way. Won't go. Rebound is cleared by April Edwards. April had a streaking Liddy Mwamba trying to get to the basket, but did not see her until it would have been a dangerous pass. So here comes Kennedy Davis. And Lady Carter's within five with Liddy Malamba with just three points in the first half. Yeah, that, yeah, that might be the uh, key to that first half for Three Rivers. Three on the way, rattles out. It's rebounded by Roberts. The put back up and no good, but the foul. And going to the stripe will be Tyler Roberts. Roberts will step to the free throw line with um, a chance to draw close here with first one not there, missing at the line. Too strong with that right hand, as my coach used to tell me when I missed free throw. What's that? That's too strong with my right hand. Oh, too strong. Why? You still get that a lot, don't you? Benny, you're too strong. Just <laughs> too strong. Gets the roll there, makes it 39-35 here with... 9-14 to go in the third. That was Tyler's first points of the game, and Lady Colonel said five players had scored in the first half. Tyler averaging five a game, five points per game, so see if they can get her on track here. We're going to need everybody. We talked about all hands on deck. A long three on the way. That is good. Count the basket for Brittany Wells. That's a big-time bucket by the freshman out of Memphis, Tennessee. And that was, that was a good 25 feet. Uh, away from the basket, so that's a big time three there, and they needed that. Head down, driving. Wamba goes hard to the basket. She's fouled. She'll be going to the free throw line as uh, the foul is going to be called on. I'm well, waiting for a number here. It'll be on number 12, Nakaria Jackson. Sophomore six footer out of Jacksonville, Arkansas. So Kennedy Davis. Oh, sorry, the foul on the floor. No well, pressures is questioning that. I don't blame her. I thought two free throws were coming there, so they reset the shot clock to 20 down to 13 now after the foul. Davis, nice pass underneath. Shot no good. Put back. No good. The shot on the way and a foul on the floor here. The uh, <laughs> play from Roberts. <laughs> Coach Wiggs, love chatting with him earlier. I don't know if you, you heard that on the mic, but he says, hey, you're 6'3", rebound. <laughs> Would it kill you to get a rebound? <laughs> <laughs> talking, talking to his team, coaching them up as they come off. Oh, my goodness. So with a seven-point deficit, Drive to the basket, shot up, rattles at home. April Edwards with a big one there. April now with 12 points in the contest on a great power move down low. 
Wells just hit a three from about the same spot on the floor. They'll go left side, not there. Follows her shot, though, gets a rebound. Goes up, shoots, cannot get it. The rebound from Baxter. And yeah, Baxter has two free, uh, fouls in the contest as well. She's on the floor. Kennedy Davis passed it off inside now with the drive. Shot too hard off the glass from April Edwards. Pass down on the uh, far right side. Wells for three. Not there. Over the backboard. I think the Lady Cards caught a break there. They definitely did because the Three Rivers definitely had position for the rebound underneath. So inbound coming here. It'll be Kennedy Davis. Nice, to, we've seen some nice moves by April Edwards, but she's got to be able to finish. Yeah, they, they've got to they've got to get those shots to start falling from April. Down five. And Kennedy directing traffic here. Wamba, pump fake. Had her, she continued left, but then went back to the right, went right into the defender. Here's a drive. Brianna is going to lose possession. Arrow facing Trinity Valley. A lot of contact, a lot of contact there. I've been watching Sydney Marshall, number two. She's doing a really nice job on uh, Lady Moamba. Yeah, they, they have done an excellent job. Marshall has, has kind of kept her in check. She had three in the early going and not, not very many even touches. And that's, a, and that's a really only good look she got at the bucket was that three-pointer. So the Lady Cards to inbound. They go with a four-box set. They find Edwards. She's backing her down on the block. And a shot clock violation. Lost track of the shot clock. It's a mental error there against the Lady Cardinals. Seeing is there a foul call before that? They're talking about it. Or a tie-up before. It will be a jump ball. And the arrow will favor Trinity Valley. We'll be TBCC Trinity will Valley. keep the ball. Calling the jump ball. They called a jump ball before the shot. There was a shot clock should have been reset correctly. Correct. Well, they're showing one on the shot clock, so okay. that ought to be reset. Oh, I thought I did too. They, they signal jump ball. What? They do not. It does not reset on the possession. So that's kind of the best of both worlds for Three Rivers there. <laughs> You uh, get that possession arrow now. And the uh, just had one second. On had the one second. <laughs> There's a drive going up off the glass. Not there. Tap back too far. And it's recovered by Marshall. The Baxter tapped it out from under there. Yeah, yeah Baxter get, get a break. Get a stop. You bet you got to convert, Tim. But there's one thing to get a stop, but when you're trading by five, six, seven, eight points, you got to get some conversions as, as well. Yeah, because the longer you play with a seven-man team, not a rotation, but a total, uh, the, the heavier those legs are going to get down the stretch. So you got to make the most of it. There's a drive high off the backboard. That was a prayer that went unanswered. Yeah, not answered indeed. Here's back the other way, a quick basket on the drive from Dakaria Jackson. Three on the way, top of the key, not there. Nobody there for the rebound for the Lady Cardinals. Oh, and just threw it away. Yeah, wow. That's unforced error there. That's a big break for the Cards at the six minute mark here in the third. No need for that pass. No, yeah, that, that's an unforced error. And I think Coach Wiggs is gonna remind us, players, hey, play within yourself. Don't try and get too fancy or too cute. I mean, Lady Cardinals will be at home tomorrow, Tim, to play LSU units at 2 p.m. in a game you can watch on the Cardinal YouTube channel. Inside the arc shot on the way. Edwards doesn't get the roll. <laughs> shot on the way. It's a three-pointer. It's good for Dakaria Jackson. Just like that, it's a 10-point deficit one more time. So here come the Lady Cards. They'll have to start chipping away here again. How many times do they ever come back in them? Oh, wow. Whew. Oh, that's a tough one to take there. I thought for sure there was going to be a foul called down there. 
And it, Coach uh, Ivy letting them know, hey, <laughs> you hit them right on the arm. And that wasn't even close. And so she, she got. She was expecting pleasantries with the official. You ask him how his Thanksgiving went. And <laughs> Five twelve to go. Lady Cards on the short end of this one. Rolls off. It's rebounded and cleared. This time by Madison Bush. Kennedy with a pass. Wamba not there, and there'll be a turnover on the Carnes. Yeah, kind of forward drives. you got to convert on every point, because as you and I have said so many times to, in the past through the years that when you're facing a double-digit deficit, you can't exchange buckets with teams. Yeah, that's, that's for real. With a timeout on the floor here, 4.58 to go. You know, in the, in, the, in the third, one of the things that comes to mind here about Trinity Valley basketball, rarely did you see a seven-point deficit or a ten. But it just seems like tonight every point is kind of a labored point. And, and so there, when it gets to 7 to 10, feels like a real big mountain to climb. It, it does, Tim. And we have seen some deficits in the past like that. Yeah. But the, 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 the firepower has been there on the bench that you didn't, you didn't need a sense of any panic. Right, right. And now there's a sense of more, a sense, I'm not saying there's a sense of panic, but there's a sense of urgency. And, uh, Good word pressure to, to overcome that deficit and it's not as easily done now as it has been in the past, so even you got a deeper bench. I, I, I think that's about as good an answer as, as you're going to find there because uh, just just watching body language of players, uh, these, these guys are a fine oiled machine. They are in tip-top condition. Larry but, Carter's been outscored 13-3 to three to start this uh so 13-3, thir that's a, that's a big answer by the Raiders as the uh, Lady Cardinals find themselves down 10 with 4.58 to go in the third. They were down 10 to close the half, but uh, went on a run real quick, got five quick points, and finished the half out down five. So a nice answer from three rivers. The problem is you just really don't have the outside firepower to, to, to shoot yourself back into a contest like the, the three-point shooters that we've seen in the past. Yeah, it, it's going to be a, a battle for sure. So here comes three rivers with possession. They'll There's a talented them. Lady Cardinal team that's a differently built three Lady Cardinal team that we've seen in the past. Ball's loose on the floor and then kicked by... Dakaria Jackson <laughs> decided basketball is fun, but let's try a little <laughs> kickball. Followed up with dodgeball afterwards. Madison Bush is on the floor for the Lady Cardinals, number 23, with three fouls in the contest. So got to be, be leery here. No team fouls called on the Lady Cardinals thus far in this third quarter. Here's a drive from Edwards. Threw it away. Back-to-back -back turnovers now by Lady Cardinals. Not the recipe for making the comeback. And oh man. See how they respond here. They're gonna need to step up on the defensive side of things. Maybe they can force a couple of quick turnovers and get some easy buckets on the other end. Three Rivers, 71 on the season, has won six strikes since losing to Wabash Valley. That's a good ball club out there representing Three Rivers tonight. Pass down in the lane. Shot is no good. Rebound, Baxter. Baxter did a great job of defending and, and holding her ground and getting the rebound. Johnson hands it off to Edwards. Now a foul on, uh, I'm not sure, is it going to be on Jackson? Jackson yeah. Davis, I believe. Davis. It? picks up the foul. So Jasmine has 14 fouls now against uh, the Raiders. So they Lady Cardinals have been a double bonus from this point on. Yeah, you got to keep attacking the basket and try and get that free throw line. But even if a little touch foul would be a free throw, and there's an opportunity you would think. Lady Carlos with five and two on the season, ranked 13th nationally. Have won three straight coming into tonight's contest. Baseline drive, kick out for three on the left side. Won't go, rebound, Edwards. April out front to Mwamba. Measuring the steps, going up strong, off the glass, count the baskets. Liddy Mwamba. Finally scores again after hitting a three-pointer there early in that the first quarter. 
Well, they need more of that from her. Much more. Yeah, they've got to get her going here. Inside the arc, thought about pulling up, being very patient. Three on the way. That what is an answer. That's just a dagger. Jasmine Davis with a big bucket there. You work so hard to defend, you can let one player uncover and knock down the three on you. That's clutch shooting there from Davis out of Little Rock, Arkansas. So Kennedy Davis gets it down low to Baxter, or Edwards. Three, got her in the air, no. Steps inside the shot way off the mark. Good hustle from Liddy. Can she get there to save it? Picked it up. That's going to be a backcourt violation on Trinity Valley. Liddy got a hand on it, but in the uh, process of transitioning it over, it, she knocked it into the backcourt. Picked up by Davis. Good call by the officials. Yeah, a lot Proper happening. Proper call by the officials. Yeah, a lot happening right in front of us here. The presence of mind. So working around the perimeter. The Cardinals can't go to sleep on the perimeter here. <laughs> Liddy, uh, I think, almost lost lost sight of the ball for a second. She turned around, so she still got it. Drive inside. Not there. Nice Look. give off, but the 33 could not capitalize Kelly Thompson. April Edwards with the ball, trying to get to the basket. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be the second foul on Edwards. There's so. a bit of contact and a lot of acting. A lot, yeah. <laughs> Either that or Arnold Schwarzenegger is wearing number 15, which I did it again. I've just dated myself. i got to get some newer, strong people. I'm we're, going with we're, Hulk Hogan next we're time. Old. <laughs> we're old. We're just old. Here's a uh, skip pass, top of the key. Wells on the way for oh. three. Brittany Wells, freshman out of Memphis, puts that one through. 14 point, uh, three rivers lead now with 140 and counting left in this uh, third quarter. Trinity Valley needs an answer. That's knocked away by the uh, defense there of Camille Brown. The problem with this kind of deficit is you, it, it requires a whole lot of defense to come back and a whole lot of firepower. While Lady Cardinals are always gonna be strong on the defensive end, the firepower is what you have to question a little bit at, at this juncture. Yeah, I, Gonna have to when everything's so predicated much. off the attack, it's supposed to be outside shot. Yeah, you're right, and it's uh, it's been a tough road to hoe here this evening for Trinity Valley. Three Rivers Raiders up 14 with a minute and a half to go here in the third. Lady Cardinals at home tomorrow against LSU units at 2 p.m. in a game you can watch on the Cardinal Sports Network YouTube channel. Wamba. Uh, with the inbound, now it's out top to Johnson. Johnson over to Bush. Shot on the way, won't go. The rebound taken. Rolls the rim and through. Three Rivers continues, Tim. This has been a nice road win for them. I was the Lady Cardinal team that's been to 16 national championship games in the last 26 years. Yeah, it, this is going to be a a monumental moment for Coach Riggs if they can hold on the pressure they've got here through the first three. Just picked up her fourth foul, 10 feet away from the basket, Madison Bush. Yeah, that's unfortunate there. That was a ticky-tack offensive foul call. That's four now on Madison Bush. The foul was uh, less dramatic than the call. I mean, he, he put more effort into the call than the foul. So let's see. 55-39. So Madison goes to the bench here with less than 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Lady Carter's down 55-39. Drive down the left side, cut off there by Davis. Back the other way, step back, baseline shot, missing everything. It's rebounded by Roberts. Roberts out front to Davis. Wamba in the paint. Thought about going inside the skip pass over to Davis. Kennedy Davis can't get it to fall. Roberts and Jackson getting tangled up. Good hustle from Vicari Jackson. She'll bring it up the floor. Finds Wells. 
Wells on the drive, last touched by the Cards. 2.6 seconds left in the third quarter. So they'll have, should have time to get a good look off here. Oh, right underneath. Wow. That's Brianna, that's gonna be her third personal foul. 1.6 seconds to go. Free throws coming up in a one and one situation, they'd say. Or, no, it's on Brianna, sorry. It'll be two shots, <laughs> but number 11, Brianna Baxter called for the foul. That one is up and through. It was 39-34 at the start of this quarter, this half. Lady Carnes has scored five points in the quarter. That's the problem. <laughs> well, I'm telling you. And so we go to the fourth with the Raiders in control. 57-39. We'll step away and come back after this with the Bud Key Cerna Thanksgiving Classic. Fourth quarter coming up on the Cardinal Sports Network. Cowboy Headquarters is your one-stop shop destination in Athens. 80,000 square feet of awesome sitting on 25 acres with top brands for all your farm and ranch needs, including Prefer, Tartar, Steel, SMA, Blue Bonnet, Equibrand, Trent Ward Saddlery, Professional's Choice. We have a Texas-sized store with a Texas-sized selection. Cowboy Headquarters just south of the loop on Highway 19 in Athens. Cowboy Headquarters is a destination you don't want to miss. Shop online now at CowboyHQ.com. The spicy crispy chicken sandwich comes in a foil bag, not just to keep all that crispy juicy tenderness warm, but to let you see the look on your face when that spicy pepper sauce hits. Mickey D's Spicy Crispy Chicken Sandwich. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Well, in control of this one tonight, folks, 57 to 39 over and out, man, Lady Cardinal team. I'm Benny Rogers along with Tim Howard. Thank you for joining us on the Cardinal Sports Network. As this final day of the two day Kurt Bucky Miranda Sermon Thanksgiving Classic comes to an end. And Tim Howard's been here for all 10 games. Tim's, and what are your overall impressions of the two days? Man, it, it, you know, it, it's Thanksgiving week and so many great things. And look, we got so much talent represented inside Historic Cardinal Gymnasium. It's been been a lot of fun over the last two days and obviously not the canon results the lady cards are, are uh, looking for as we get to the fourth but hey we've seen stranger things we'll see what happens here no doubt about it they were outscored 18 to 5 in that third quarter shot up and good for brianna baxter good start for the lady Cardinals. brianna now with seven points in the game bringing the trap pressure on the trap they break it across the line thought about a three but a step taking their extra step and the lady Cards are coming out looking like lady cards. Yeah, you can't make them all up in one one possession, so you got to work at them one at a time. So, 16-point deficit here in Trinity Valley. You know, you just got to go back to work, keep chipping, and go to go to bat. So, with the inbound coming here, it's going to be Davis bringing it up the floor. Kennedy on the left side, oh, trying to go down to Liddy. Liddy somehow grabbed the ball on the baseline, comes back and kisses it off the glass, but doesn't get the shot to fall, but is fouled in the process. Nice job by Liddy of getting to the free throw line, however, and it does stop the clock, and the clock is your best friend if you're trying to win the game with and don't want to run it. Liddy with five points in the contest. Gets that one to fall. Had 27 last night in a thriller between Hill College and Trinity Valley. An average of 15.8 on the season. Two for two on that trip. So full court press coming here. Trying to make it work. And they, for the first time tonight, are running more of that TBC say style press, but so tough to do with the limited numbers. They attack the basket, can't get the shot to fall. 
That's going to be Lady Cardinal basketball. There you go. One stop followed with points, two stops followed with points, and then you got your second ball game. Yeah, Maya Davidson uh, had pretty good position there and could not convert. This is where you want to get an and one or a situation or maybe somebody knock down a three to really get you back in the contest. Here comes Kennedy up the floor, going right side looking, surveying the defense. Now gets it up top to Edwards. April gets a screen from Roberts. Roberts dribble, drive, pass out to Mwamba. Not there. Really good look by Liddy not to, to make it. Yeah, usually on, on Nan, when she's got that kind of uh, vision and time, you can almost put that through, but not this time down. Oh, oh Wells with a good drive. <laughs> Brittany Wells just did a great job of sitting that up right off in the star. Taking it to the hoop off the glass. Count the basket for Kennedy Davis. Kennedy now with five points. But again, if you're Lady Carters, you can't afford to exchange buckets. Yeah, and that, that's one of the difficulties of trying to press. You break that press, you got an easy one on the other end. Shot not there. And it'll be picked up by Johnson. Johnson to Lydia. Wamba drives, shoots, and scores. Back to a 12-point game. Lady Cards putting some pressure on here. Lady suddenly with nine points in the game, Tim. Yeah, she's coming to life here and uh, had already has four in this quarter. Timeout taken by Alex Wiggs and the Lady Cardinals bringing some firepower well, in their own. senses that the Lady Cardinals have gotten their stride a little bit here. Now they're playing Lady Cardinal basketball all of a sudden. Absolutely. With 7.41 to go, uh, Coach Wiggs will try and talk it over with his squad. Let's take a minute. We'll step away. Cardinal basketball continues after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. You know, they're not talking about you, just you all the time like they do rodeo athletes, you know. It's the right family, you know, the right brothers. I don't really look at it as you know, we're legendary, but it's kind of unreal what we do and what we get to do you know the things we've done and hopefully continue to do i guess you could say is it is legendary all they do is stare at their phones <sighs> so dreamy they're obsessed with schlotsky's new calzones calzones are here that does look good new calzones at schlotsky's and welcome back. 7.41 to go here in the contest. The Trinity Valley Cardinals, Lady Cards, have put on a little run here to make it interesting, Benny. They have. We seem to get stops followed by conversions, Tim. That's what was missing during that first half when they got that big deficit they were looking for. So inbound coming here with Three Rivers with the possession. 12-point game, went for the steal, now leaves it empty, but a steal on the other side as Johnson is leading the pack. Kick out for three on the way, shot is off the rim, but rebound by Davis. Davis up and foul, going to the free throw line. That, again, keeps the clock it's stopped. A different flow with which the Lady Cards are playing right now. They're playing loose is what they're doing. They're taking some risk on defense and getting away with it. We talked a little bit about it at the break. Hey, man, you, you're at the point in the ball game where you just got to let it all let it all hang out and go for it. As uh, you got your seven and, and you're in a little deficit, you got to start battling and uh, making things happen off the press. Uh, you got to hit your free throws, though. You got to hit your free throws. Kennedy Davis coming up empty on that one. Those are just points you're giving away with that clock stopped on your behalf. <laughs> yeah, and boy, that does, those do add up. Goes one of two at the line. So Kennedy picking up her sixth point of the contest. Pass underneath, shot up and good. Count the basket for Kaylee Thompson. It's back over the stage. Sometimes you take gambles and risk on defense and they pay off and sometimes they don't. Yeah, you... You're, you're going to have sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So they got a, got away with one there. One, three on the way. Not close, but the rebound by Roberts. She'll go inside, pulls up, shot short. It's rebounded by Thompson. 
Three corner would have been huge if Livy could have got it to fall. Roberts with a tip away. Now hands it off to Johnson. Kennedy lost the handles inside though. Wells with quick hands makes the steal for Three Rivers. Getting on the floor with her, and that'll be a tie up. The arrow will face Trinity Valley. 6 0 4 left in the contest, and the Three Rivers Raiders up 61 48. 61 48, Three Rivers with 6 0 4 left in the contest. Back into the game comes Baxter and Bush. Remember, Bush playing with uh, four foul. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. At this point, you just have to go for it. Yeah. Oh, they're talking it over now. They're saying it'll be it'll be uh, black ball here. So three rivers will have possession. So they have they have the. Uh, well, going back to Three Rivers here, following that, defense keeping work, keeps working here for the Lady Cards. Just under six minutes to go, 5.52 and change. And that'll be number three on Tyla, Tyla Roberts. It's gonna be the second team foul against the Lady Cardinals here in this fourth quarter. So inbound here with the drive to the right post. Wells measuring up. Hand off to Davis. Those shot, no good. A couple of cards had a shot at it and it bounces up front. Might have got away with an extra step. The basket's good. A couple of baby steps. Back up to a 15 point lead here. Lady Raiders. Lady Cardinals have to make the most of every possession now. Every possession counts. It'll be a three on the way. Edward's shot won't go. Arrow will favor Trinity Valley this time. Nice job, Brianna Baxter, tying it all up down low on the knee. So Lydia will sit, and so does Madison. Then he goes to the bench with nine points. She had six in the third quarter. Maybe kind of struggling to get back into the contest. Like I said, they got back into the contest, they threatened to get back into the contest. Crossover in the paint, picks it up. Passes off to Johnson, her shot not falling. Rebound inside Roberts, left hand won't go. And rebound, boy, he eh? had three Two. cracks at yeah, it. Nothing they, to show. Good looks at his food, Tim. Roberts playing nose to nose defense out there. Almost forced the turnover, does go out of bounds off of TVCC. So 432 left here in the ball game. Lady Cardinals scoring 95 points last night, Tim, against Hill, and just got 44, 48 on the board tonight with 432 left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, media timeout on the floor here as TVCC will get a chance to try and recapture some energy over here. As it's a full timeout. We'll step away. We're coming back with the final 432 after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TBCC, it makes sense. 
Apply today at tvcc.edu. Step up to the block, step up to the block and tackle the Mac Stack at Dickie's Barbecue Pit Game Changers. Our signature mac and cheese topped with Dickie's quality slow smoke meats. And Dickie's delivers just in time for kickoff. Visit Dickie's.com, legit Texas barbecue. Welcome back. It's the Bud Keys Cerna Classic here. The final game. Yeah, final game. Over the last two days, there have been 10, ten games. games. 10 games. And uh, have seen some great basketball. This has uh, been mostly Raiders tonight as they are making Trinity Valley work. All seven. They, they're a yeah. short team, man. I, that's the thing. There's no surprise. There's three rivers is ranked to number 11 nationally. They're a good squad. They're going to national tournament just about every year as well. Rolls the rim. Doesn't get that to fall. TVCC has battled, man. They they uh, were down 10, cut it to five going into the half. Did the same in the third. But every time they get within striking distance, seems like Three Rivers is able to make a little run of their own. April Edwards called for her third personal foul now. That's the second team foul against the Lady Cardinals here in this uh, fourth quarter. Shooting foul for Jackson. So April with three, Madison with four, and uh, also you've got Tyla with three as well. Got a look at the replay there. It's a so three throw. rivers doing what they have to do, knocking down those for free throws. And they've made the most of those opportunities here with just over four minutes to go here in the fourth. Pass down on the post, backing her down, looking, kick out for three. No, she goes baseline, drives, hangs, blocked out of bounds. Tyler going for the reverse layup instead of maybe just going for the strong layup on this side of the goal. And ball is tapped out of bounds. We'll stay with the Lady Cardinals. Yeah, I thought for a second they were going to overturn that. The official with the ball was signaling the other way, and then he got help from his Cohort crossed the way. Kennedy Johnson with the ball looking. He's got Brianna down low. Hangs the teardrop and it falls. 15 points for Kennedy. She's the leading scorer for the Lady Cardinals. Thought about it. Now lets it fly. That is off the mark. <laughs> Wells is checking into the game. She had her hands up for three and then kind of put on to her side as she walked onto the floor. 15 point deficit to Lady Connors, 344. It's still doable, but there's no margin for error at this point, Tim. You've got to convert every chance you get after a stop. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely you got to score and keep the defensive pressure applied. So it'll be Johnson working up top. No time to linger. Give and go. Puts it on the floor. A blocking foul coming here. It's going to go against number 11, Alexia Weaver. 11 on 11. 5 7 freshman of Donovan, Missouri. Three throws coming at the stripe for Brianna Baxter. Brianna definitely has to hit both of these. I need her. She's averaging 10 points a game. And uh, I don't think that even touched the net there. That was about <laughs> as perfect a shot as you can get. She's got eight in the contest. Eight on the night. So see if she can add another one here. Has hit four free throws. Doesn't, but the Lady Cards are going to get the offensive possession after it goes out of bounds on Sydney Marshall. So 14 point deficit, 327 left in this one, folks. As uh, Kaylee Thompson and Camille Brown check back in for three rivers. Somebody's got to knock down a shot. Drive, shooting, and score the basket. Okay, it's going to be on, on the floor, not going to count the basket out front. So Davis... Inbounding to Mwamba, who drives block, and a foul coming here. Mwamba will get up gingerly. Already heavily bandaged on that right knee, and she'll be going one and one. Foul. 
So one and one free throw coming here from Wamba. Wamba has to hit this, does, gets it to go down 65-52. Maybe now in double digits, averaging 15.8 on the season. He had a slow start to this game, hitting three points early in the first quarter, not scoring into the third quarter. Coming back strong there, two for two. 12 point deficit, Lady Cards gotta press. See if they can force a turnover. Get it over the line and passing it away, throwing it away. The cards force a turnover as uh, Maya Davidson. Probably oh. got away with a break, too. It looked like that maybe April Edwards hooked a young lady as she penetrated the lane and uh, he wasn't called. If he wasn't called, he wasn't a foul team. Looking for a basket. Three minutes to go, down 12. Eight cards, a little bit off sorts here. Now going to the basket, pass underneath, and that'll oh, stop you, a basket. You almost wish they hadn't called the foul that time. <laughs> yeah, that that would have been one that they would love to have have had there, with a foul coming on number 11, the carry at Jackson. So now free throws. You have to earn it. It's four at now on Jackson. Jackson will take a seat as. Or excuse me, Weaver will take a seat. Well, Jack Weaver has four, but Jackson also has four. Oh my goodness, gotta miss the, the, the free throws. 12 point deficit, 2.52 to go here. And the is hitting 65% of the free throws this season. Gets that one to go. Doing back court, Hill on the line, right in front of us here, and that back heel was on the line. Thirty-second timeout taken by Coach Alex Wiggs of the Rev uh, of the uh, Raiders. So we'll keep it here to talk about. I'm not sure if he's more frustrated with the officiating or the, his team at this point, Tim. Maybe, maybe a little bit of both. Uh, <laughs> as you, you look at the body language, he's pretty hot right now. This way, the officials were getting the eye rolls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's one of the things that I've noticed. And pick up a little bit of that. Uh, you know, Lady Card's down 11, and they've got 241 to play with here. So they, they're still in this thing, but boy, it's getting ever so close. And we talked about them. there was no margin for error about two minutes ago. There's less than that now. <laughs> You're like, so no, seriously, there's no <laughs> margin for error. There's a replay uh, from earlier. You see that long three from Wells? Man, she's she's had three or four of those throughout the tournament. She's really played well here at the Budke Cerna Classic. Now Lady Card's trying to answer with the three of their own. Liddy gets it up top to Edwards. Now the pass underneath. Good reverse, the layup is good. Back to a nine point game, 2.25 to go. Cart's working. Lady with 13. Threw it away, she's out of bounds. And they can't handle the press right there. She's it's very up. possible, folks, it's very possible. Nine points, 2.20 to go. Well, Lady Cards are having to gut it out right now, man. You how, know, big, how big would it be if somebody could knock down the three? Oh, man, this place would start to come back to life as uh, they're daring her to take it. There it is. Skip pass over to Zaheer. She'll take the basket at the glass. 65-58, seven-point game. 2.03 to go. Trap on the ball. And they're making her work. It's tipped. It's going to be stolen. Here come the cards. Knocked away. Going on the floor. And picked up. Here comes Davis. All the way down. A layup on the other end. Oh, what a backbreaker. What a backbreaker. That close, man. Oh, my goodness. 67-58. Shot on the way. And it's out front. I don't think the shot would have counted. Kennedy's well. got to hit her free throws here, though. Well, they are saying two shots. So... That would have been a three-point play, I think, if that would have fell. I said two shots. That's three four fouls now on uh, Brittany Wells. So all of a sudden, 
Three Rivers has three players, I know, with four fouls, and two of them are still on the floor. Of course, they've got a bench that's got nine players on it. 17 guys on the bench. Uh, <laughs> go in for Coach Riggs. Shot is up and good. Both of these uh, free throws huge here because you, you make this one, you're back to within seven. Shot is good. This is an 18-point Lady Cardinal deficit going into this quarter, folks. And they have really been working. Again, if you're just tuning in, oh, boy, she paid the price for that one. That's a tough foul, but it's a good a good foul. She, she was going for the steal all the way. April Edwards will uh, get up. Just hustle back down for another. You can be hurt, but you can't be injured. I was going to say, there's no <laughs> room for injury right now. If you're just tuning in, Lady Cards uh, just devastated with injuries this year. They've got seven suited out, and that's what they're looking at That's what they're playing year. with. That's, yeah. a, that's it, folks. Yeah, there's so Lady Cards... No margin for error with uh, fouls, uh, with injury. They've had their share already here in the early going. They may get a player back before the first of the year, possibly, but it's not going to be much more than eight all season. Inbound barely got it in at five-second mark. So a minute and a half to go, down seven. Pass off underneath them, swatted away. Rebound is picked up. It's gonna be, it will be Three Rivers Boys. First of all, they're looking over like, how did she not lose her head in the collision there? And uh, the crowd disagrees with that call. I'm picking up on that right now. They're right in front of it. They'll throw it, it's loose, it's picked up by the Lady Cards. And now a foul coming here. <laughs> as Please God, it'll be a foul because Precious is going to lose it. Down. Minute 22 to go. What a foul on number 11, Alexia Weaver. So you're going to the free throw line here with a minute 22 to go. It's a seven point ball game. <laughs> Twigs is. Uh, his face was not happy at all. <laughs> and again, I think going back to, is it at your team? Is it at a little bit above? But the, it's a matter the of interpretation. <laughs> the pressure has uh, really gotten to him over the last quarter here. Stray Valley put it all on the line. Free throw up and good. Count that for Kennedy Davis. It's a six point game, two How about Z at the Lady Cardinals have been though, Tim? They've just not given up. I, I was gonna say, you can measure a lot on the to finish, regardless of the outcome. They could have packed it away at 18. They're within six, five point game. Now with a minute, 22 to go. Here comes a fight, buzz loose. It is picked up off the glass. She's going to the free throw line. Holy cow, <laughs> Kennedy Johnson. It was 57 to 39 at the start of this quarter. 57, 39, it's now within five and two free throws to come. That's five fouls now on Victoria Jackson. There's a little discrepancy right now at the scorer's table. So we're uh, looking over the book right here as there's a replay. And you can see going strong to the baskets, Johnson. She's fouled. She'll be going to the to the stripe here in a couple of moments. This ball game was 57-39 at the start of the fourth. Now it's a five-point game with Trinity Valley trying to make it a three-point game with a minute 16 left. Benny? Wow, my, my, well, done it the way we said they had to do it, Tim. Defense followed by conversions on the offensive end. And Lady Curtis had a never say die attitude. Yeah, you never underestimate the heart of a finisher. And these guys, they aren't finished yet. They're still working and they're battling. That's been a fun one to uh, take in. I'm fully expecting them to ask for admission price for me when we leave. We we couldn't we can't see this for free. This is too good, man. <laughs> it's too good, good stuff. It's, it's I've seen a little bit nasty the Lady Cardinals have played with the effort they've given here in this fourth quarter. They've just thrown it caution to the wind. So they are looking over the book. They've added I'm not sure what the discrepancy was. Well uh Lady Card side was at the saying it was sixty one before the shot, so it was one point that 
they were checking. They did confirm that the book is right. So here's the free throw, 67-62. That'll make it 67-63. A free throw here would put them within three. Kennedy with 16 points in the contest. Coach Riggs right at the scores table to our right. Free throw from Johnson. It's good. It's a three-point game, 67-64, minute 15 left. Lady Colonel's have made up 15 points in this quarter. There is a blocking foul coming right here. That is going to be called on. Is that going to be on Brianna Baxter? It'll it's be a good on foul, though, because it's only the 14th foul against the Lady Cardinals here in this quarter, so it's no free throws to his shot. Baxter has four fouls, so she's... In danger, but you gotta you gotta be playing at this point for you know you, you don't want to take them to the locker room. With you. <laughs> so here's Wells out top, running some clock. Ten on the shot clock. Need a stop here. Wells, little juke step. Five on the clock. Three, two, forces it up, and it's no good. Cardinals with a chance to tie. 42, they'll push the pace. It's Davis driving, Davis going up. Precious was trying to call a timeout, but the official did not award it, and she was right in front of Precious. Here's a drive to the basket. She walked underneath and blocked out of bounds. 27.8, she was Precious was begging for a timeout, and the official was right in front of her, and she didn't give her the timeout. I am shocked. I mean, I was standing right, sitting right here with you, and uh, I've not well, seen that before. It is, it is what it is. So with a three-point game, they need a stop here. There's 22 on the shot clock. So if they stop them, they would get the possession. Timeout taken by Coach Wiggs. He got the call. He was about to get a five-second call. He, he got a call with the timeout. <laughs> so with a 20. That's how it's done. 27.8 20, <laughs> seconds to go. 22 on the shot clock. So we keep it here and talk about scenarios. There's well, a five-second differential. So if you get a hold here, you 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 would have a, a, a pretty good look at a three. Oh, absolutely. But you understand my Precious was trying to get the sure. timeout. She wanted to get her team under control and set up a look that she wanted to get, would possibly get a three-pointer behind a pick to tie this game up. And it didn't happen. Now then, you've got to get the stop on this other end because any points here could be just too much of too big a hill to overcome. And as you're, as you're uh, sitting here talking about it, an opportunity to tie it. You're down 18 points. Just oh, what a comeback it's been. Moments ago. All of this with a seven-man roster and, oh, yeah, yeah. and foul trouble. And just going, just going all out, going all across into the wind, basically, Tim. Love the energy and the effort. Back to action. Here's the inbound. Trying to get it in. They finally do. And now a foul out front. So with 25.8 I'm not sure go. Precious is wanting the foul, to be honest with you. They will go to the strike. I don't think she wanted the foul. Hey, save me, save me. I don't either. Precious will call a timeout if they score here and move the ball to the front court, as you can do in women's basketball now, and save some time from the back court. This Oh, my goodness gracious. This is the big one here. She can make it a two-possession game if she hits one of two. You this saw the first said you get the, she gets the miss, call, get the rebound, and call the timeout. At the stripe, it is Jasmine Davis. Davis 0 for 2, and the Lady Cards have it. They'll take a timeout with 24 points, 7 to go. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> She's jumping up and down like I want a timeout here. She will move the ball to the forefront court, however. Yeah, There's they, 24 seconds to think. The Lady Cardinals could act to theoretically play for the last shot and try to send it into overtime. I'm, I'm uh, interested to see what's going on that board over there. And, and, oh, yeah. I'm not going to look because <laughs> I don't want to know. I'll be surprised as Lady Cards have. And what a fun what a game. What a finish bit. of the Butkey Cerna. My goodness, the Butkey Cerna classic. Kurt Butkey was known for his, his, his famous saying was win the next five minutes. They have won. In the next five minutes, the ladies herders have won this 10 minutes for sure. I'm not uh, joking with you. When I tell you, this has been one of the funner ones. You know, immediately my mind goes back to some of the great ones we've seen here oh, absolutely. through the years. But uh, this one. And for the most count. part, it's been teams doing coming back against the Lady Cardinals, potentially, and the Lady Cardinals hold them off. But in this case, the Lady Cardinals are turning the tables 
and have a chance to pull this one off. But you, you've got to get a good look here. It'll be interesting to see if Precious decides to continue to attack the goal and try to get an and one, or if she tries to set up April Edwards for a three-pointer behind the screen. I'm uh, going to be... I'm going to be excited to see how this one ends. Just just for the uh, pure... I don't think you take this down to the final shot. I think you want to buy yourself some time in case you get a miss. Yeah, if you if you miss it here, you know, early, you've got a chance to foul it. Maybe, you know, something happens at the line again so you get another crack at it. I'm with you. Look for to get the ball in April Edwards' hands beyond the perimeter at some point. So Davis finds... So they'll get it to Edwards. She drives to the basket, shoots a rebound from Baxter, and oh, stolen underneath. The Lady Cards can't get it to fall, and now a foul. That's all right. There's still 12.7 seconds left. You, you hit, hit both free throws, and it's like a one-possession game. April Edwards was trying to get to the basket to uh, cut it to a one-point game and then force them to go the other end and hit two free throws. Didn't get it, but then the uh, rebound, by Davis. So let me repeat, it was 57 to 39. Three rivers at the start of this quarter. Coach Wiggs saying block out, block out. Kennedy Davis at the free throw line here. She's got 13 points in the ball game. If you're the Lady Cardinals, you don't get a steal, you get a quick foul. No steal, you get a quick foul. And that is uh, exactly what they're going to try and do. Should she make the free throw? The free throw on the way is good. It's a one point game, 67, 66 with 12.7 seconds to go. My goodness. Kennedy Davis with 13 points in the game. Lydia Mwamba with 13 points in the game. April Edwards with 13 points in the game. And Kennedy Johnson with 17 points in the game for the Lady Cardinals. Fun night here in the Valley. Oh, my goodness. Oh my See, gracious. you're in good shape here because here, even if you, you don't get the steal and you get the foul and they Foot hit foul. both free throws, you still got a one-possession game. You call a timeout, move it to the front court, hit a three-pointer, tie it, go to overtime. You've got it figured out right here. Man, I'm, I am uh, just, as we as we talk about this over the next couple of seconds here, full timeout and, and the strategy of the Lady Cardinals being executed in front of us, I'm, I keep going back to where we started this fourth quarter. 57 to 39, the Lady Cardinals have quite honestly looked dead in the water. I mean, this is just be real. be real about it. 39, they were down 18. They clawed all the way back to within one, and there's 12 seconds to go. <laughs> Holy cow, what a game. And, and the way they've play, been playing aggressively defensively, who knows, they may get a steal here. But if you don't get a steal real quick, you've got to get the foul real quick. Yeah, and you've got to buy you some time for your three-point shot on this end if, in the event they hit both free throws. Coach Wiggs drawing it up over on the sideline. What and nor, and was his strategy. And, and Three Rivers is out of timeouts, by the way. They've got zero timeouts on the board. There's nothing they can do about it. Two left for Trinity Valley. None left for Three Rivers. Maybe Lydia get a piece of this inbounds pass. Get the foul, get the foul, get the foul, get the foul, get the foul. Get the foul. You can't wait too long. They you get the foul. Clock's dissipating. Now the foul comes Ooh, with four points. Oh. Four. They needed that at about 7.7 7 seconds there, Tim. They needed yeah. that. Yeah, that, that that's pass getting the ball around. But it's this, nothing has changed, though. Even if they make both, you get the, you get the timeout call. You move the ball to the full court, and there's plenty of time to get up a three-point shot. Yeah, no so question about it. See if uh, Wells can deliver. She needs to hit. She missed the first one. You can win it now on a three-pointer. Oh, my goodness. Chance you get the rebound, you got to get the rebound clean and call the timeout, though, if she misses this shot. you got to block out if you're underneath. And we've seen some long bounces on the rebound. Shot on the way. Missed it. Call rebound. Timeout. Timeout. Wamba with the 3. rebound. 3.7 seconds left. Lady Carter's call up. They can win it with a, they don't have to even have to be a three-pointer here. They can win it with any, a tic-tac foul against North uh, Three Rivers can win this thing with two free throws. 67-66. Pull out the calculator. Let's do something. Yeah, <laughs> my goodness. This would be an all-timer. I'm telling you, this would be an all-timer. Yeah, this has been a uh, a fun one. Everybody, why, why did you pay for the whole seat? Everybody's on the edge of their seats. You don't need the whole seat. This is one of those kind of games. In 1997 at the national tournament in the semifinals, Lady Cards were playing Lewisburg. They were down 12 points with seven minutes to go. Betty Lennox took over the game, and Lady Cardinals won that game and went on to win the national title that year in 97. Well, let's take some picks for posterity but here. I'm telling you right now, this Holy year would be, <laughs> this would be bigger. Not in the, the stakes wouldn't even be any higher, but this would be bigger. Man, 
The Lady Cards got a real chance here. They've got 3.7 seconds to go. Here's the inbound coming. Still one timeout left for Trinity Valley. Take it. They'll get it to the top. 1.3 driving, shooting. The foul goes is called. It's a the foul. foul is called. She's going she to the go free to the throw, throw line. line to shoot two. Three throws coming with. There is. It's going to be free throws. The foul was but called. Are, but are they the questioning buzzer. whether it was a charge or not? That's the question. It's, it's no question that so it's going to be a two-shot foul because it's double bonus. She hits two. There's point two left in the game. There's no time on the clock. So now let's see how much time is going to be that, put on the clock. The So blocking foul on number three. Jasmine Davis will be called for the blocking foul with point three. So you hit two free throws. They're, they're going to have well, they're gonna point three seconds left. That's what no, I'm the saying. foul couldn't have been on Davis because she's already out of she, they called They called it. That's now yeah, five that's on her. her. But Coach, that, we have seen, I hate to, we've seen April struggle at the free throw line this season already. I hate to put any pressure on the young lady. And this this delay is not going to help matters any either. No, it's it's not. It might it might actually give her a little time to catch some legs. Free throws are shot. She needs to step away from the line. If I heard I would step away from the line here and just catch my Absolutely. breath. Absolutely. Get out of the batter's box. Take a deep breath. That's five fouls now. That was five the fifth foul on April Day. I mean on uh, Jasmine Davis. But one will tie it, two could possibly win it. You play three. It has a chance to do it. April Edwards has a chance to do it, folks. Uh, the freshman of Little Rock, Texas, the Lady Cardinals are trying to overcome an 18-point deficit going into this fourth quarter. We throw on the way. So Got it. Oh, then down. My goodness. Now this would tie it. She has to hit this one. Got to get this to keep it alive. April Edwards at the strike. Goes one of two, and it is going to be overtime as the Lady Cards claw their way back and tie it. We're at 67 apiece, headed for extra innings here tonight. <laughs> How about that? Benny, let's step away real quick. Lady Cardinals back. outscored. We will we'll step away real quick. Outscored Three Rivers 28 to 10. 28 to 10 in the fourth quarter. Oh my goodness. We're gonna we're gonna wrap our mind around some numbers when we come back on the other side of this here on the Cardinal Sports Network. A quality, affordable education is not out of reach. In fact, it's closer and more convenient than you might think. Trinity Valley Community College, with locations in Athens, Palestine, Terrell, and Kaufman, offers day and evening courses, online courses, and provides dual credit classes for high school students. DVCC is also home to several national championship sports programs. Long before the craving hit you, when nothing else will do but Texas barbecue, we were way ahead of you. Dickie's Barbecue Pit satisfies your craving, delivered where you want it, when you want it. Order online or use our app, Dickie's Delivers. I've asked this question many times before, folks. If you're just now joining us, where the heck have you been? <laughs> My goodness, you have just missed a comeback of all comebacks. The Lady Cardinals down 18 points to start the fourth quarter. Outscored Three Rivers 28 to 10 in that fourth quarter. April Edwards had a chance with two free throws at point three seconds left, point three seconds left, hits the second one to send it into overtime, and that's where we're headed right now, and I'm sending right back to the man, Tim Howard. Benny Rogers, my goodness, how in the world have we been so blessed to take this one in? It's been a fun one tonight. And here's the storyline going into this little mini overtime period. The number of players that have four fouls that are going to be on the floor when this game when this game gets started back. Yeah, there's fours all over the board there, so I uh, got to be... Lady Cardinals will have a lot of fours to deal with. Yeah, there's a, a full roster of seven tonight for the Lady Cards. Controlled by Trinity Valley. So big there for Edwards to jump in front of the tap. Every position counts in overtime. Drive left side as 
Davis calling for help. Gets it down low to Edwards. Edwards spin move in the paint. Goes up strong. Shot is good. Trinity Valley up for the first time in a long time. <laughs> On the, on the baseline, stepped on the line with her toe. Forced out of, out of bounds by April Edwards. April Edwards, the tight pressure there, forced her out of bounds. My goodness, it's a two-point advantage. Four and a half to go here as uh, the Cards have the ball. We said this would be win number 1299 in the Lady Cardinal history if they pull it off, folks. And what a win it would be. Oh what a win goodness. it would be. It is the Bud Key Cerna Thanksgiving Classic. And what a classic tonight has been. The last game of this two-day tournament. Trinity Valley battling all the way back down 18 to start the fourth. They've taken the lead here in overtime. Kurt Butke always said win the next five minutes. The Lady Cardinals win this next five minutes. They will walk out of here a winner. Try shot. No good. Rebound. Baxter. Excuse me. That was yeah, Baxter. She was going to the free throw line after getting the foul that time from Maya Davidson. Sixty nine, sixty nine, sixty seven. Shot on the way is good. It's a three point lead for Trinity Valley. Three now with nine points in the contest. Three point Lady Cardinal lead. This could put them up at two scores if they hit, she hits this free throw. They are now on a 4 0 run here to start the extra overtime period. Tip and last touch by the Lady Cards. Yeah, got a piece of it. The defense has been the difference maker. No question. Fourth quarter defense and overtime defense has been the difference. Shot on the way. It's good. Oh, what a nice, nice little one-handed shot that was by Kaylee Thompson. A great answer for three rivers. Yeah, Kaylee with a big clutch basket there. It's back to a two-point lead for Trinity Valley. Need to keep attacking the basket. That's been... Uh, their go-to here down the stretch. Working around the perimeter. It's Locke Thompson coming back and getting a big block for yes, sir. three rivers. Three on the way. Missed everything. Offensive rebound, though. The battle coming back the other way. Wells shot. It's good. It's tied. With a floater by Brittany Wells. Ties it up at 71. 307 and counting. Kennedy Davis at the helm. Goes over to Edwards. Pass off the top. Off the glass. Count it for Kennedy Johnson. I don't know if she called it or not, but it counts. It's 19 points for Kennedy. 19 on the evening for Kennedy Johnson. A big bucket there. Two point lead for Trinity Valley. Two forty time uh, basketball, folks. 245 left. Wells driving. Picked up. Shot is short. And a charge going the other way, getting in front and getting position. Brianna Baxter draws the charge. Brianna getting position, and now cards with a basketball and the two-point lead. Not happy on the other end. Coach Wiggs realizing, man, they have let the Lady Cardinals fight their way back in it, force overtime, and now they're up two with the ball. They led by four earlier before an answer from the Lady Raiders. Big possession for the Lady Cardinals. They can go up by two scores. It'll be Johnson back to Edwards. Pulling up. Shot. It's good. It's a four-point lead following the Johnson bucket. 75-71. 210 to go in the game. 21 points for Kennedy Johnson out of freshman out of Dallas, Texas. A lot of these guys are growing up before our eyes here. Long three on the way. Count the basket. My goodness, that was clutch from Jasmine Davis. Two great teams here, folks, going at the head-to-head. -head. One point ball game. Wow. Just wow. Working around this side to the left. Now they move back right side over to Johnson. Edwards still 15 on the shot clock. Liddy had lost it, and now... That knocked out of bounds. Still 11 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, the Lady Carters want to be real careful, Tim. They don't work the shot clock down, so they have to force up a shot. They want to get a good look here if they can. So one-point advantage with possession. Minute 36 left. In overtime. 
Driving inside, dish underway, the basket's good! The assist, though, from Edwards made that happen. Baxter with the bucket. Three-point game, ball in the paint, shot on the way. Good. On the other end. <laughs> Back and forth, Maya Davidson. You're getting all this for free, folks. It ain't costing you a dime to watch this. That's some great stuff here. It's the Bud Cerna Classic game. 10 of 10 over the last two days, and we're in overtime. Timeout taken here by yeah, Coach Peace Precious Coffee, Ivy. Yeah, Pete's called this timeout. She's got one left, and Three Rivers has one left. So that'll be a, a chance to catch her breath here and uh, talk it over. It, a 20, a 30 second timeout. We keep it here. Well, it's such a key possession for the Lady Cardinals because you're up 77 76, so that's one points, obviously. You want to get you a bucket here so you at least will get out of harm's way with a three pointer beating you because we have seen Three Rivers with the Tennessee and the Nat for hitting a three pointer down on the other end. So as Trinity Valley uh, talks it over here. What about the game for Kennedy Johnson? She's got 21 points, but she's averaging 11.8 on the season. She's played well above her average. Now, Kennedy Johnson has stepped up in such a big way, had huge free throws uh, down the stretch there to, to get them within the uh, shot that tied it from Edwards. 17 seconds on the shot clock, 103 on the game clock. They'll get it up top to Kennedy Davis. You don't want to have to force up a shot with three or four seconds left on the shot clock. Baxter thought about the screen. Now they'll switch over to Johnson. Johnson dribbling, driving, shooting, and foul. Going to the free throw line with three on the shot clock. So she was hammered. Yeah. She has to pull herself up off of Leon Spencer Court <laughs> as uh, she pays the price. 50 seconds left, Tim, so she's got to hit both of these. She's got to hit one for sure, but yeah. two would put the Lady Cardinals out of harm's way for a three-pointer beating them. And like I said, Three Rivers has shown that the knack for hitting those three-pointers tonight. Yeah, they have had some clutch threes down the stretch, so Kennedy really needed to come through at the stripe here. Five, five freshmen from Dallas, Texas at the line for the Lady Cardinals. We got eight, eight free throws in a row in the first half. Missed that one there, so stuck on 21 points. She's in these number 22 in the worst way. Missed them both. Rebound though by Davis. So 20 seconds on the shot clock. They reset that. It'll be handoff to Edwards. 10 on the shot clock. Edwards dribble drive. Gets past the defender. Pulls up. Shoots. Can't get it to fall. And it's cleared out by the Raiders. One point lead. They go down to Davidson. Davidson shoots. It's short. Rebound. Wamba. Wamba for the card. The Cardinals do not have to shoot. They do not have to shoot. Knocked away. Picked up. Timeout taken here right in front of us with 13.2 seconds Precious to go. The final timeout. The final timeout for the Lady Cardinals. So 13.2 <laughs> left. <laughs> My goodness, let's cover it all, Benny. Well, recap what how we got here real quick. Well, with Lady Cardinals were down 18 points to start the fourth quarter, 50, 57 to 39. They outscored Three Rivers 28 to 10 in the fourth quarter to tie it at. 67 67 going into the fourth quarter. And now at this point, we're 77 76. We've seen the Lady Cardinals with a four point lead, but we've seen Three Rivers come back from that. And now what we've got is situation is number one, the target number one for the Lady Cardinals is to get the ball in without the three point, the five second count. Then the pressure falls on Three Rivers to get the foul if they don't get the steal. Yeah, they, they've got to convert here to force them to hit one of those threes. They've come through clutch. Three Rivers is their name, so they got three in their DNA <laughs> for crying out loud. What a classic this is. The Lady is going to come down to what we've said all along. You're going to have to hit some free throws. You're going to have to hit some free throws. Yeah, and, indeed. And so the Lady Cards probably are going to be looking at a, a foul situation that's coming their way. Who will they try to or they'll try to put Edwards on the line. Yeah, that's that's she's, she's, probably she's, what they're thinking. So April has hit some free throws because she's not looked as, as most confident at the free throw line. April to inbound right in front of us here as the lady cards break. They get it, try to get it to Johnson. They get it to Wamba and a foul quickly coming against Kaylee Thompson. 
as uh, she will send Wamba to the line. She had 27 points in the game yesterday. Very smart by Three Rivers to getting the foul real quick. Buy yourself as much time as you can. Now, Three Rivers has a timeout left, so they can, if they, she hits both, he can call his timeout and move the ball to the front court. Yeah, need them both here as Liddy will step to the free throw. She's, the she's, only she's returning. Got hit, she's got to hit one of them. The only returner on this year's team. First free throw is good. So the string music continuing for Liddy Wamba. Liddy with 14 points now. She hits this one, then a three-pointer puts the Lady Cardinals out of harm's way. Second one on the way is good. Back-to-back -back for Wamba. It is a three-point contest, 11.9 seconds to go. We're going to take a 30-second timeout, come back with a finish after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. First State Bank, we like to say we're big enough to help, small enough to care. Our communities and the families and businesses within them are what have mattered most to us for decades. Since 1935, our commitment has been to not only support local, but to foster growth for generations to come. We've given back to organizations that help our community thrive, and with six convenient locations, we continue to do our part in serving you, our communities, our businesses, our families. Here we go, man. We are in a uh, barn burner. Three-point lead, Trinity Valley up. Timeout taken by three rivers. They need a three to tie it with just uh, 7.9 uh, 11. 11. seconds to go. The Lady Cardinals have no fouls to give. Here's the inbound. It's Steal. stolen. Wamba is going to dribble it up the floor. Had it knocked away. Protect. They have the ball. They got it with six seconds left. And now knocking her to the floor, Kennedy Davis. Helped up there by Camille Brown. One free throw can do this for the Lady Cardinals. Yeah. One free throw is all they need. They can do this. Coach Wiggs beside himself right now because, again, the uh, Lady Cards were dead in the water, down 18 to start the fourth, but fought, battled, struggled, and found their way to overtime. They're leading it by three with a chance to add to it. And the only sophomore for returning from last year, Lady Mwamba, comes away with a steal. Free throw is up. It's good. It is a four-point lead with 4.8 to go in overtime. One more free throw here. <laughs> he looks worn out. <laughs> Kennedy Davis at the line. Davis with 15. 16 on the night and a, never a bigger one than that one right there. It's a five-point lead. No foul. There's, There's a no long foul. three to end it. She gets it. And the final will be 81-78. They get a timeout with .0. That's it. The ball game is over. The Lady Cards all the way back. 81 to 79. They win it down 18 to start the fourth quarter. And they come all the way back to win it. Final score, 81-79. It's called the Classic for a reason. We're going to get Coach over here momentarily. We'll get a chance to hear from her and her thoughts. And my goodness, what a uh, what a performance, Benny! Your thoughts on this one as we're waiting. Well, to, we'll uh, wait for we'll wait capture for her to get here, but we'll cap, we're going to let her talk to Precious Ivy, the Lady Cardinal head 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 head. Yep, she She's, wants to get a team picture, and that's fine. We're gonna get oh, you got to remember this one. Get that picture for real for sure. Oh, absolutely. But Lady Cardinals down 18 points to start the fourth quarter. They rallied to outscore Three Rivers 28 to 10. In the fourth quarter, wow. tied it at 67-67, winning 81 to 79. Oh my goodness, Tim Howard! I got to tell you, Benny, I, I think that even hearing the numbers right off the bat, we got, you know, you're like, they're doing all this with a limited roster. They're doing all this in foul trouble, and they're doing this against a top 10 team in Three Rivers. This is this is one for the ages, right here, my friend, and this is definitely. One that will not soon be forgotten. We're about to talk to Coach Precious Ivy, folks. You just stand by. She's getting some great congratulations. Yeah, rightfully so. She's been mobbed on her way over to the scorer's table. My goodness gracious. How about it? Congratulations. We'll let her get mic'd up here. Um, but 
goodness, Coach. Okay, you're P, my goodness. <laughs> you're down 18 going into the fourth quarter. You got all kind of foul trouble with the bench. It's just got two players on it. We saw Lady Cardinal basketball in the fourth quarter, though. We did. I'm out of breath, but <laughs> well, I you're see, not I the only I one. I just looking worn out. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm, I get the sixth man of the year award. <laughs> I swear I'm playing with them on offense and defense. But, man, the things these ladies have been doing this preseason, yeah. getting down to four in October, not being able to get a um, get the scrimmages that allows us to gel and, <clears throat> and learn each other. Um, we're just now getting rolling. I mean, as you see, we only have two on the bench. We got two on crutches. We got two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zay Zay. Hey, 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 hey. I Get love, I love it. Love okay, it. Okay, um, but as I was saying, only having um, two on the bench, we just tell the kids you got to figure it out. When you're tired, you can't be tired. You got to think positively, and what you put in is basically what you'll get out. <clears throat> yeah, it, it, I, it, you told us that earlier today in an interview before this game. Hey, kind of our mantra has been, figure it out absolutely how, how much did they grow tonight in this in this amazing come from behind win they definitely grew as individuals and as a team um they basically just proved that they can do anything they put their minds to it and every time out <laughs> i just told them i have no more answers i've given you the the blueprint now you just have to apply it and go get the win and i they definitely did exactly that coach scott did an amazing amazing job on the bench calling the defenses um and i thought when we went into that press everybody just picked it up and, and we made plays uh, how, <coughs> three rivers didn't have an answer for that press they had to drive coach wiggs crazy <laughs> because he's looking up and you guys just kept stealing kept fighting mm -hmm. and uh, found a way absolutely um we try not to press um, the entire game, obviously, because we only have two on the bench. But when you uh, have your back against the wall, you got to do what you have to do. And when we saw that that pressure was rattling them, we just decided to stick with it. And uh, we just got turnover after turnover, and, and we just went and converted those. If we don't convert those, it's a different ball game. So uh, very proud of the kids for just stepping up and, and doing their thing. Thanks for letting us be a part of this tonight. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of this or not, and the kids are aware of this, but by winning tonight, you set up an opportunity tomorrow at 2 o'clock to get the 1,300th win in Lady Cardinals history. Oh, man, I didn't even know that. Uh, that's that's big time. Again, like earlier, I talked about Kurt Bucky, um, and we could talk about the Landers. We could talk about uh, Lovato. Um, just all those people, they attributed to that, and I'm just proud and, and, and honored to even be able to be a part of that 1,300 win um, on taking on tomorrow. We were talking about <coughs> Kurt Bucky's famous quote was win the next five minutes and when you got to overtime we tim and i both said if you win the next five minutes you win this ball game uh with these kids uh we actually told them to win the first two minutes uh since it was only five minutes right, right. and so that's kind of indicative of a 10 minute quarter you win the first five minutes so we actually told them to win the first two and i thought they did an amazing job we had two kids in four, with four fouls going into that uh, overtime and i told them we, we're not giving up any layups but we're definitely just trying to contain and keep them in front and i thought uh, all five kids on the floor did bench. Uh, I mean, they were up and at it and, and they were doing really well tonight as well. Never trailed in, in overtime. Y'all got the lead and did not relinquish that. Win. Even after a couple of big threes by them, never gave it up and I, I thought that was key. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> I think sometimes coaches try to be reserved in overtime and slow down and uh, that's not how we got back into the game. So we just wanted to keep the momentum and doing the same things that got us uh, to overtime and we definitely stuck to the plan there as well. Oh, P, congratulations on the win, and let's get 1,300 tomorrow. For sure. Thanks. Thank you, all Let me get a Go selfie cards. here and drive Benny crazy because uh, <laughs> he's not a fan of the show. Get in here, Benny. Come on, Come Mr. On, Benny. Benny. Get in Come here, on, Benny. Mr. Benny. Get there in we here. go. All right. We'll do it live. Thank you, <laughs> Go man. cards. Awesome. Appreciate you, Coach. And my goodness, how, how much fun was that, Benny? Somewhere Kurt Bucky's just smiling down and coming <laughs> big to big time. You got you got to you got to take it all in, and unless you know every ounce of this story tonight, it, it might escape you, but this is one we'll remember for a long, long time. Well, Lady Cardinals folks improved to 6-2 and two in a most a most unusual way. I mean, they were down 18 points to start the fourth quarter. They outscored Three Rivers 28-10 to 10 in the fourth quarter. 28-10, oh to 10, Tim. Yeah, it, it's, you know, it's it, it's going to be a long ride back for Coach Wiggs and his squad. Uh, eight and a half hours it came down to play you know, in a, in a very renowned tournament. And, uh, boy, they were so much fun uh, to watch. But that's got to be just a tough step to climb on that bus now, knowing we let them up off the mat. We had them down, but we didn't have them out. Lady Cardinals go for win 1,300 tomorrow at 2 o'clock against LSU units here at Cardinal Gym. You can watch it on the Cardinal Sports Network YouTube channel for Tim Howard.
and Benny Rogers and Mark McLean, who did a great job calling the other nine games in this tournament, along with Tim Howard and the talented, talented Cardinal Sports Network crew. Happy Thanksgiving, you folks. Great, have a great weekend, and have a great week, and we will see you again soon on the Cardinal Sports Network. <laughs>